Hello, everybody, and welcome to Paranormal Nation Radio, Not So Normal. I'm your host, Carl. Sitting beside me over here is Denise. Ron should be in later on. Yep, he's out walking. And we have a real special guest with us, Mr. Charles Port down Hello, here. Hello, everybody. From Bookman Radio. My so. paranormal kid. Yeah. Yeah. And now, we, my kid's uh, best man. Yeah. Or best friend in the wedding. Yeah. <laughs> all of that. Yes. Yes. All, all of the above, right? Yes. We've been together for a long time. Oh, yeah. Much so. I was actually talking about this. I was I think it's funny how I met you at a paranormal event before I met you through Lauren. I know. It's and then funny how that works. And then you ended now, up. Now what living. event did you meet her at? Um, we were doing a um, an event at the eighteen shoot fifty eight uh, 59 jail, jail. 15, oh, yeah, yeah thank you uh in independence when i was with dusted on and they were there for the event so it was nice but the thing is is oh. we knew of, we knew of each other yes we knew of each other i think i had shown lauren some of the de- devices that i had she was like yeah my parents do this it's like oh that's cool i'd love to meet him sometime so i knew of ron and denise but never actually so when yeah. we got invited to the 1859 jail by jimmy yeah after being on Rick's show, Rick's video for doing live at the Sally House. So this is another person basically that we've met through Rick. Yeah. But right. we would have we would have met Charlie regardless <coughs> at this point. It just happened a little faster through the paranormal means. Yeah. Well, so, you remember how Charles, you remember how you and me met. Oh yeah. At the courthouse. Yeah. The night you actually became an official member of the team. Yeah, that was a that was a really fun investigation. That I loved the courthouse. It was awesome. Oh yeah, that that place is awesome. But it's funny how it goes circle around. It does. It mm-hmm. really does. And you know, Charlie, I really miss you. Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. Oh, I missed being there too. Oh my god. So hopefully this year you can do that again. But, I you know, I shouldn't have any issues because I'm not with the same girl anymore. So we're good. It's not the girl. It's the job. Well, the this job. time it was like I had previous plans to be with my girlfriend's family. And then now that that's not a factor anymore. Well, you know, as whatever happens, you know, like I said, yeah, we, we missed having you here. Cause you know, we never, well, we, we haven't done anything yeah, it's really. Been a while. And you know, one of the things that we realized is when you were here that last new year's mm-hmm. remember, I didn't drink cause I said yeah. I was sick. I had COVID. Mm-hmm. But we didn't know it. You know, That's none crazy. of us knew that COVID no, existed. Yeah, exactly. And the doctor had told me what that I had a bronchitis or something yeah, like that, something that wasn't that. contagious. Mm-hmm. So I wasn't worried about being around you. I, I haven't been worried this entire time. I was like, if I, I, I work at a bar, I handle literally everybody's dirty glasses. So people well, you come in and they dirty don't know money, Look, dirty debit cards. I was going to say, yeah, well, exactly. So it's just and like, your shitty phone. <laughs> Yeah, right. And I brought that attention to somebody. I was like, you know, you know, with all the crazy sanitizing that we do, why don't we sanitize money? Hmm. Yeah, and the thing is, is you know, Ron, after working on those machines, he has to wash his hands every time because they're yeah. black by oh, the time. Oh he's yeah, done. change is so dirty. Oh, it is horrible. Oh, it people is. People have no clue. So when you're putting your money in, you know, you pour your money into the 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 coin star machine, and mm-hmm. you start. You know, because it doesn't all go in there. You can shake it all oh, you yeah. want. It's not all going to go. You have to use your hands. And your hands are filthy. So I always put my hand in the bag that I took it in, mm. you know, to basically use it as a glove so that my hands aren't filthy. But people don't realize how dirty. What's the max? Is. What's the max change you can put in one of Ron's machines? There is no max. Oh, there is no max. No, it the machine itself holds over twenty thousand dollars oh okay so um and at this point since they're doing uh bitcoin some of those machines hold o- well over a hundred thousand dollars these days oh wow because some of the machines you know like in rural towns remember ron told you about the, the car that flipped and flipped and flipped right. down in el dorado springs mm-hmm. that machine in that little bitty town does more than a hundred thousand dollars a month Jeez. And it's all in in bills because they're buying Bitcoin. Oh yeah, that's crazy. Mm, and it the is. thing is, the Bitcoin thing makes me wonder what they're buying with it. 
you know, we know they're not just buying cars and houses and no. stuff that, that they want to keep off. They're buying stuff they want to keep off the radar. Yes. And right. I don't even want to know. I don't want to be involved. You know, basically keep me keep me out of it. Yeah. A lot of, I mean, you get a lot of those cryptocurrencies. You don't really know what they're going to because it's not federally regulated, which don't get me wrong. At the same time, it's kind of nice because it's not being taxed. But yeah, you have no idea what people are buying with that stuff. So, right. Yeah, I know. I, I, I don't know. I mean, how much of it is, I mean, human trafficking, well, you drug trafficking. Say, yeah. We but, all know that. I mean, if you, have you watched Ozark? I mean, yeah. We know what's happening all around us. I mean, oh, and, yeah. and that show is not far fetched. Mm -hmm. I mean, some of it is far fetched, but the things that they're talking about happen in real life. Buying politicians and, and all this other crap happens every day. Maybe not at Lake of the Ozarks or in Georgia where they're filming, but it's happening in our state capitals all yeah, the time. It's happening every well, you look at Kansas City last week. Uh, they did, uh, feds did a raid, caught 25 people, money laundering, uh, human trafficking, weapons, everything right, right there and in they, Kansas City. That's scary when you think about how easy yeah. it is to get a gun. Where'd this 18-year-old yeah. kid get a gun to shoot up Olathe East? They haven't talked about this guy. You want to no. know why? They don't want to talk about this guy because it doesn't meet their agenda. Exactly. They want, to make, they want to make something out of his race. And it's a bad guy who did something. It was a, a kid who did something bad. Who cares what color he is? Well, how about the, the guy that beat the uh, the Asian woman in New York? 60-something-year-old 60, 60 oh, yeah. Asian woman. that She was punched like over 100 <clears throat> times by uh -huh. just this big, giant guy. Nobody wants to talk about it because it doesn't fit their agenda. No. Right. And that pisses me off because if if it had been a conservative parent's son yeah. with a gun that went in there, no matter what color they were, and no bought it from a gun shop. They, yeah, and bought it from a gun shop, it definitely would have been all over the news oh, and everything else. But like I said, oh, yeah. it doesn't matter. And I'm going to say this until I'm blue in the face, and everybody needs to know this. There are good people and bad people. Yep. Period. Mm -hmm. And the color of their skin means nothing. Right. It's their character and how they how they present themselves. Those are the important things. And teaching kids about color is you don't you teach them about the rainbow. And yeah. every color of the rainbow is is a pretty color. Even if it's puke green, it's still yeah. a color. Well, that's that's why there's states that are taking action against CRT and it's not going to be taught in schools. Yeah. Thank God, because it's ridiculous. Um, we can't do that. Be, yeah. It, I mean, it goes along with the, um, the whole, okay. Since we're going to get into this, it goes along with the whole propaganda that's being pushed here lately where it's the, uh, can't say gay or don't say gay video. You know what I'm talking about? Or the, uh, I, uh, I saw something about that. Yes. Mm -hmm. But since it makes, who cares? Yeah. Well, it's, it, I don't care what you do in your bedroom. Yeah. Right. Exactly. It's, it's, that's the, the bill is not even about that. The bill no. is about giving parents rights or giving the parents the sole right of their children or what their children's learning in the classroom. Right. It sounds like common sense to me. That It does. It, and does. it has nothing things. to do with being gay or not. That's why it's so stupid that it's being pushed that way. Right. No. And you know what? I think that my daughter knew that she was different when she was a little kid. Yeah. I, I believe that because when she told me she was gay, it did not bother me in the least. Mm -hmm. Not, I mean, not one. I, I mean, I wasn't surprised. Okay. Let's just say that I wasn't surprised. Right. And, and it did not bother me in the least to say, yeah, my daughter's gay. But again, it's none of anybody's damn business. Exactly. And what she does in her bedroom makes no difference to me. Exactly. I don't want to see anybody making out on the streets. I don't care exactly. if you're gay. Exactly. Is that because I lived on military bases? No, I am not comfortable with that. You will hardly ever see me walking, holding hands with Ron. Yeah. We have been together almost 40 years. And 
Yeah, I might give him a on the cheek. Say that now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever seen I agree so hi April. Yeah. I mean you might see me hug him and oh, stuff. That, well, that, that's a hug. Come on. Right. I hugged you. I hugged Carl. Saying, yeah, exactly. I hugged yeah. everybody. But, yeah. And but again, I don't want to see a overt public display of affection. Yes. Same well, I, I especially do don't want to see it when I too. have <laughs> grandchildren or little kids with me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, we don't they're not old the enough to understand. They're not old enough to understand. Yeah. No. That's and that's exactly that, that whole that stuff shouldn't be taught to kids at all. No, not by somebody outside your home. Exactly. No. no. If a kid has a question, then now you sit down with the kid and you let the parents you have a conversation. That's right. And. It's but with some of these young parents we got out there, I don't know if I want them telling their young kid about it or not. Mm, true. You know, all I know is that oh, we can't help that. It's, it's up to me. I remember in fifth grade having sex education, and all they talked about was um, reproduction and uh, safe sex. Yeah. They didn't talk about how. Mm -hmm. They just, you know, you had to you had to guess that part, but you know, again. I did not feel that it was appropriate, even in at that age, I did not feel it was appropriate for them to be telling me how a woman gets pregnant. Right. And luckily there was no videos like there are now that are close to porn. Right. So, yeah. And so, I pulled yeah. my kids from those classes and I taught them mm -hmm. in a sense. way that they understood <laughs> Yeah, Leah got pregnant at 17, but she was almost 18. So right. I, apparently I did pretty damn good. I didn't have any right. grandkids before my kids were 18. So apparently it's, I did it's something. It's the younger right. generations, Denise. That's what it is. Well, you know, Lacey, Lindsay, and Lauren were all at the hospital when I had Leah. Not in the room. Not in the room. Because yeah. still, there. you know, so their sex education came real when I had Leah. Yeah. You know, this is how this happened. And, you know, it is what it is. But I still don't talk to my kids about sex, you know, period. Well, it, but it goes I back talk to, to them the about it in yeah. general yeah. terms, but not, hey, me and your dad. No. Yeah. Right. <laughs> no, it, it goes back to what's in the media and pop culture and what's heavily influencing kids these days. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Well, like, it, it was just <clears throat> crazy to me. I was watching. A TV show and like one of the first things that came across was like uh what was it like oh kids these days are just if if you're not what was it I'm trying to think exactly how it was but it's basically implying that like kids these days are just going off and doing it like crazy and I'm like that's just wrong so I yeah I watched like the first episode and I was like yeah I can't get into this it was a friend it was a show recommended by a friend I'm not gonna ever touch it ever again so right yeah, well so what show was it? It was Euphoria on HBO. I couldn't. Okay. I couldn't do well, it. Well, probably not going to be watching that. So no. he's on his way here, huh? He will be landing in JFK, and then an hour layover, and he will arrive in Houston, Texas, tomorrow afternoon at one p.m. Well, hopefully, we'll be saying welcome to America. Oh, we are. He's good. Yeah, it's going to be hilarious. And, and he was on our he was on our born TV after nine last night. He had to jitter so bad. He couldn't wait to get out of there. He was itching to get to America. Itching to get over here. And then his mom's helping pack everything up and shipping it over. So, it's great to so hear from you. In, but they're stopping the Ukrainians at the southern border. But yep. yeah, they're saying come, come, come for the Ukrainians on TV. But they're no, you can't come. Well, you gotta remember, Luke tried getting it back into. He's a U.S. citizen. He's also a U.S. Uh, U.K. citizen. Right. And he's also a citizen of Spain. Wow. Huh. He's got three citizenships. Right. Well, the options. The options. <laughs> yeah. He's 25 years old mm -hmm. and stuff, but uh, he's moving to the United States because 
he's tired of the crap going on in the UK. I don't blame him. On I their laws, their him. gun law. He builds <laughs> he builds tanks for a living. Oh wow. He remodels and redoes tanks. That's crazy. I mean, shoot, you, I, you know, it's it's so funny. They they talk about how, oh, America is such a horrible place, or it's such such a crazy. Then why is everybody wanting to come here? Yeah, it's you know, you why, know why do we it, have so many people wanting to come here if it's such a horrible, racist, white nationalist? Look, like, shut up, just. Oh, I ugh. know it's ridiculous what they're saying. Yeah. This country's still great, but it's we're having to fight for everything. Oh, absolutely. That it's we well, it's yeah, it's, are right. It's, our company, our country is great. Our leaders suck. Yes. So yes. that's what people need to understand. Biden poor, is not is not the popular president. Right. He he was not voted in correctly. He's nope. he just had a whole bunch of people help lie to make him president. Yep. And that's the all question it is. is the next question would be, how in the hell did he get this person to be vice president when even in the popular votes, when they were trying to, to find out who they wanted to run, she couldn't even get 1% and she quit. You're right. Because of her, uh, her sex and, and skin color. Well, it's, the thing is, is her, her father, is, she's she, Jamaican and something else. She's yeah, not The people even controlling Biden exactly. are controlling her, too. Exactly. She's easily controlled. Exactly. She's been being controlled ever since she was in California. Yes, Crystal. Luke is finally coming to America. And he can't wait to get here. Here for the free handouts. <laughs> for the free handouts. Hey, David, how you doing? My other so, buddy. paranormal kid. Yeah. Uh, it's it's just, it's amazing to me, like, in New York right now, they have the, uh, the prison reform to where there's no bail, right? So anytime mm -hmm. someone commits a crime, gets arrested... Hey, you can go free. How about California, where you have the, uh, if you steal less than $950 worth of stuff, you get to go free. So crime is just rampant in all these places. Gee, I wonder what the leadership of these places are. Huh. Oh, yeah. What thought. Yeah. And, and citizens are actually standing up, and they're not putting up with it. There was a poll done by, uh, oh, crud, who was it? Somebody did a poll in New York, and it was just like, hey, do you support all these changes and it was like 69 percent said yes they they are they're they're for they're not the changes of the reform they're they're wanting to bring Ooh. back the funding of police and stuff like that this is interesting crazy. okay luke's up in the air you know thirty six thousand feet up there 16 hours on an airplane having to wear a mask he's in business class he walked through the first class to use a bathroom and they don't have to wear masks up there in the first oh, class sure. sec. So, sorry, who said that? What? Okay. Right. Does but that sense? just goes to show you, they set different standards on the airplane. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Different Rules standards for, for different classes. Exactly. Rules for And, and in this case, it's it's actually class. Mm -hmm. First class versus business class. Oh, business class. Oh, you, that's that's the trash. They're hanging out with dirty yeah. people. We <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I, I couldn't imagine, I flew to Houston, you know, up in the air and down in two hours and had to wear a mask. He's having to wear it for 16 hours. Just have a drink in your hand and take a sip every every now and then. They I would. Anything. Show me or, the bathroom because I'm going to be going there. Hold a cigarette, even though you yeah, can't huh. light it. <laughs> in the casino, we saw this woman hey. the whole time, had a cigarette the whole time. She didn't smoke. She yeah. had the whole you know, we've always been told don't take lighters and all this and that on airplanes, right? Uh -huh. So I didn't take my lighters when I flew to Houston. I got out, Cameron picked me up and I said, give me a light, let a cigarette, right? He drops me off. I've got a four hour wait before my flight so he wouldn't have to fight traffic. I'm outside smoking a cigarette, you know, and everything. Didn't think nothing about it. Put the lighter right down in my pocket. Went. What funny part was I walked into the Houston airport for forty minutes, not wearing a mask, right by security. Right, they don't care. No. So I get to the X-ray machine, right? Take out billfold, shoes off, you know, everything that I knew was in my pockets. I get to walking up there, and I get right up to the machine. And I went, "Oh crap!" 
I reached in my pocket, pulled out my lighter, and I said, who wants it? <laughs> they go, hold on to it, get in the machine where you hold your hands up, right? Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm already in the position, guys. Got my hands up, lighter <laughs> in my hand. Yeah, as long as it's not in your pocket and they know you have it, they'll, they'll be fine. It's okay. the way you leave a napkin in your pocket that's a problem. <laughs> right. So I walk out of there. And the lady sitting there has got my baskets, got my shoes and billfold and all belt and all that stuff in. I said, okay, do you want the lighter? Because as far as I knew, I couldn't carry it on the plane. She goes, oh, no, you can take it with you. Oh, yeah. And they I went, they don't care. Uh, a butane lighter, a little Bic, mm -hmm. but they you, don't can't care take, take you can't take one of the torches. Right, which makes sense because that goes a lot longer i can and burn it, an airplane down with a big lighter yeah but you don't look suspicious i'm yeah but i'll tell you what, what that when i walked up there i was like oh god that's all i need is to get her what about the 5g signals now? what about that stuff you know 5g's telephones with the signal oh. interfering with the airplanes uh-huh hmm. well it's interfering with people too yeah it's a lot of stuff there, maybe it'll, yeah. maybe that maybe that's what ca is causing my thing to not work very good is the 5G maybe. messing with my my Lynx device. Maybe. Still trying maybe. to figure out if I have EMF with all the magnets. But like David said, they probably have to spin me around a few times to <laughs> get them moving. <laughs> and he likes your hair. Yeah. Actually, like I said, for those of you that didn't hear this earlier, I don't like it. It's the same haircut, just shorter. Oh. And... Hopefully. But it does, it does form to your face, though. Like it just. I, Luke, Luke will too, land in six hours straight. at JFK. And I have, I have too much hair. Okay. So wait, you don't like it going outward, and you, and you don't like it's, it's too straight. What do you like? No, I mean it's not like it's too straight. It's too okay. long. Oh, okay. And it's not. It's, it's in between that space where it's too long but too short. Okay. I need it either to be longer, or I needed her to cut it shorter, shorter. to frame my face. Okay. That's because I spend, sense. like I said, I spend more time doing this. Yeah. And, you know, when you're typing and stuff, yeah. Looking it gets looking hard. Down. And, I mean, and I yeah. type really fast for, well, because, well, because I'm working 24 what you seven. do, yeah. And so it just gets to be a big pain in the ass. And then it's not long enough. Oh, yeah. No, you can't. To oh, pull dang. it back because this is all it does yeah, longer pony tune she does yeah you guys have more hair than i do right? i was gonna say yeah charles i know you yours is <laughs> it's, and uh, I have, 2019 november and so what's bad is i have so much hair that she can't cut enough off to make it the way i want it at this point so basically mm. what i wanted was what they call a pixie yeah and it's very similar to well kind of form fitting to my head kind of thing and no, I'm not getting I'm not getting a crew cut. I'm not getting yeah. my head shaped. And Ron just recently had a haircut. So because, you know, it's that time, you know, we always want to look good when we go see our kids. See, there's look Ron. At the devil. Look who walked in behind you. Oh, yeah. He he was here a little bit ago. He said something yeah. earlier. I was going to say he probably went for his walk, didn't he? Boo. 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 What's up, Charlie? Howdy. Good to see hey. you. Hey, David's in there. Cameron has taken oh, Dave, a I month have... hiatus. I was gonna, I was getting oh, ready to tell Denise that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. You're right, Dave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, he. No, I said we need. I said that. we need to uh, <laughs> need to get with David and get in the uh, Garnett house. It's pretty awesome. Just yep. gonna say. Well, I know we've been there, but I need to get back in it. We haven't done nothing yet this year. We've only been there in passing. Did um, gosh, did did you guys check the episode where we talked about the Garnett House? Okay, did you watch take that care. Not yet. Okay, no. I'll go ahead and say it, but I will say that the two things there were two things that happened. It was basically the same occurrence that stood out to me one hundred percent. So we were. Um, I want to say we were setting up and Dave comes walking out of one of the rooms and the downstairs, one of the doors leading from the kitchen to not the, like the, the living room area, but to one of the side rooms in the hallway. 
like so there's there's two doors going from the kitchen right there's the one by the operating table which is right to like the living room ish kind of area right that's where Mm -hmm. i saw a shadow figure yes and then there's the door that's like right when you come inside there's the one on your left right there right that door opens up and it we were sitting down and it just went do 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 like bouncing off the side we're like what the heck was that so we looked and the door was open so we were like okay well that was weird and then when we were breaking down and we were getting ready to leave uh i was sitting down in the chair and dave comes walking through getting all the equipment goes into the kitchen and then as he starts to come back the door opens up again and just hits the side it was just like are you kidding me like <laughs> and, but you acknowledged it. yes we did we because unlike ghost then... hunters that didn't acknowledge the door That's weird well we and we tried it. everything we we would we would go up to it we we simulated opening the outside door walking through the kitchen we we went through every type of deduction that we could do to open that door and it would not open okay like we we banged really hard on the floor next to it we we would rush up to, up against it to try to get the air from us to maybe open it nothing, nothing did you happened. open an outside door to break no. the suction no, yeah, we the door from the outside to come yeah. inside. We did yeah. that, and it still didn't open. Has it done that before? With yes. Dave's it, it, uh, I don't know with Dave, but they have video of that door opening. So it's pretty pretty cool place. Does yeah? Does uh is the Garnet House still on Paranormal Warehouse? We've only for live uh, video. That one I'm not quite sure. I Dave would. Yeah, we've only been in here once for a little bit. When Dave it's, had his group down there. Yeah, Dave took us around and showed us around and showed it's us the, the attic and all that good junk. I had uh, just a little bit of interesting activity upstairs. Uh, Dave and I were doing, I can't remember what the experiment was, but he was listening to a device downstairs with headphones on and um, through the live I could hear what word. We were, so we were asking questions and we were hoping that he would get the reply. Mm-hmm. And it was actually working with us. We were talking about, like, I think, like, I, I felt something in the room to my left, which I think you might have mentioned, or it was Angel. Somebody had mentioned the room to my left was where things were happening, and that's where I felt it before it, somebody It said wasn't something. me. So it was Angel I, then. Yeah, because I did not watch it okay. live, because more than likely it was at a time that I was probably, get this, babysitting. Oh, man, isn't that fantastic? I'm one of those great, I'm a good grandma. So. Oh, that was the, so that was the first time that he had seen the door open, but he has no clue about the paranormal warehouse. Okay, yeah, but I'd it, we tried anything that I could think of, and yeah, it was very interesting. So I highly recommend that place. Plus, the vibe is just good too. Well, not it good, is, but it's, it's just a, very interesting. Well, I mean, funny thing was is how we found out. Okay, we'd heard that somebody had bought a house in Garnett. Yeah, you know, we had heard that they had bought it, and we were driving through Garnett to buy a car wow. for Lauren. You know, Lauren needed a car and we were helping yeah. her buy a car. And she wanted one just like my my Elantra, my 2007. Yeah. She was, I want one just like yours, but not purple. She wanted she wanted silver or gray. Yep. They had one at Wise Auto. So we're driving through Garnett. And I told Ron, I said, yeah, a friend of friend of mine on Facebook I said you know Justin and he goes yeah and and Rob and he goes yeah and I said well they bought a house here in Garnett and we're driving down the street and he goes I wonder if he goes I hope it's not that one that's leaning to the left it, mm. and it was <laughs> it was yeah and when I said something to the guy at Wise Auto he had just thrown away the newspaper because they had a newspaper article about them buying the house oh wow it's I I would love to go back. Can't wait to go back. Um, yeah, I definitely recommend it. Um, the vibe is very different. I know there's video of a door opening upstairs too, but yeah, it's a very interesting place, especially the room with all the dolls in it. That's weird. Oh, but, Charlie, that reminds yeah. me. Polly I says know. hello. Yeah, I know. I was. It's, I can't go anywhere and see dolls without thinking of Polly. So <laughs> thanks for that. <laughs> You need I told Polly. everybody that story a few weeks ago on here. Oh, yeah, me and dolls, fantastic. <sighs> Not you fun. I'll take doll. clowns over dolls, but yeah. <laughs> hey, it, get, it, a, get a clown suit for the doll. Then you'll yeah, take. You it. Then we'll find. You know, yeah, I can fine. sew. So I can right. sew. I don't want to think so. about the possibilities of that one. I, I used to make dolls. Yeah little pigs and little bunnies and let's see what else 
something else. I made something else. I don't remember. But I used to make all that stuff when my kids were little. And I've given up on that. But I'm sure it was, a little, it was better than buying it. All the, you see this you know, from cheaper. April? Yeah. That's what she said. She's got a. They say she found out there's a coven about a mile and a half from her house. Then does she know what kind of magic they practice? Is she sure? Does it matter? I mean, no, how did she find that out? Yeah, how did you find that out, April? And I'm glad um, your son's doing better since we talked. I butcher his name because I I want to call him Abadiah, and I know that's not it. Yeah. So, it is. No, she says it different. We were on the phone for an hour and a half last week, so. Uh, I always hear her say Abadiah. Is it Abadiah? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Just Abadiah, just, I, Abadiah. I have no idea. Hi, Rosie. It out there. <laughs> There's two of them that are pretty close. Welcome, Rosie. Name. Maybe it's O. The Abadiah and Abadiah. It was the one that starts with the O's that I have problems yeah, with. Yeah, if you haven't caught the latest episode of Eureka Springs Underground, it's pretty cool, too. I highly recommend it. Of his awning industry episodes. Abijah. Uh, Abijah. Abijah. Okay. See, uh, told you. <laughs> I just, hey, when I first met April and we was doing a lot of talking and everything, I just gave them numbers. I was not going to keep up on all them names. Oh, I, it's family. I've got to. Yeah, I know you do, but my. Yeah. Mm. Just the big really chat. quiet. You didn't even know he was it's there. Been pretty yeah, good, Rosie. <laughs> I'm gonna, I think I may send her a muzzle for her one kid. He's excited. Yeah, you're gonna to have me. Rosie down here. You're gonna have her on your show here before long, aren't you? Yeah. Um, I don't remember when right now. Um, my show was supposed to happen last night, but it got canceled it like got, a half hour before. Yeah, it got canceled like a half hour before. Um, apparently. Cat could not get her hotspot to work hmm. in Gulf Shores during spring break. Who to thunk? Everybody Gee. was using everybody was using the internet, and she couldn't get hers to work. All that signal being booted by or used up by darn teenagers. Mm. Yeah, well, drunk college kids. Yeah, drunk and high. Well, so, at least she's down there to watch over her property. But and you know, and the other thing is, is at least we're back on the air. Um, now um her mom yes. passed away last monday mm. and uh so it it is what it is and next monday i have dave spinks so hopefully cross everything yeah it's gonna happen so um because i've at this point i've been off the air for the paranormal pride for a month Jeez. and then i'm gonna be taking time off because i'm not doing a show in vegas on Monday no. night. Spend time with the family. Huh? Right. Spend time with the family. Oh, yeah. I mean, we kind of have to. Exactly. But we're going. And we now went to book she, our hotel. She has two now, right? Lindsay has, yeah, yeah. Lindsay has yeah. Uh, Nolan and Piper. That's yep. right. Nolan's okay. just over a year old. And uh, finally, he's a happy camper. Yeah. <laughs> so, and this time I think Lindsay's going to, she has us scheduled. Oh, that's good. Scheduled to help home repairs. Mm. Home repairs. Oh, it's help pack. Help pack. Help paint. Help whatever it is oh, that man. they need to do. We can't even paint our own house. Uh, they're going to put you to work, Ron. She puts us to work every time we go. Are they moving slash selling? Yes. Ah. And the Vegas market is, is the market that they need to sell it in. And Lynn, really? Lacey's boyfriend is a real estate um He's an agent. Nice. And he's already offered to buy it from them wow. for what Open Door says it's worth, right. which is way more than. I think. I think if they buy, if he buys it for what Open Door says, they'd be extremely happy. They could pay cash for the house that they want to move to. Holy cow! That Even just... though their house isn't paid off, I mean, they'd still have to. They'll have a mortgage. Right. But, right. Right. But it would be more than the amount of that they're of the house that, that they're, they want to buy. But that just shows how good the market is, though. For the them. bad part is, is the market. Not in, really. Yeah. The market. If you're selling or buying. In Florida. It's, it's high. Um, everything's overpriced. It's at least six months to get a permit to build a house. So they're at least, they're about a year away if they start now. Yeah, we were in October. We were going 
back to uh, Daphne to sign the papers to get our house started. And yeah. hopefully it would have been done. But the same house is like 60,000 more. And I, the exact same. And, and that was that was back in August. And that right. and the bad part is, is there's a clause in the contract that says if the materials go up, yeah, the everything price goes, goes up. up. Oh, yeah. Well, look at what their price to build a house now. Yeah, I wasn't that crazy about what I was going to have to pay in the first place. And then you just tack on 60000 for nothing. We're probably 80 by now. Yeah. And Chad, this is in Florida. Up in yeah. the panhandle of Florida. Yeah. Is where Lindsay's looking. And Lindsay also picked the same subdivision we picked in Daphne to go look at, which is funny. She didn't know that. She didn't know. <laughs> we didn't well, tell her. She started like telling that. Funny how that works. Yeah. Cassidy's mom and dad out there where I built that big deck around their pool, right? <clears throat> $7,000 worth of lumber. Yeah. Three years ago, four years ago, right? That's at well, least 30000 now. Last fall, the winds came in and tore the pool out. Oh. oh. The deck oh, is we... still there. Yeah. And I said, are you getting another pool? And they said, yeah, just as soon as income tax comes back in. I said, that's good. Because that seven thousand dollar deck is now worth about twenty eight thousand dollars worth yeah. of lumber in it. <clears throat> yeah, and yeah, I said it's sitting there doing nothing. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's well. Crazy. Apparently, it's looking pretty. Oh, yeah, it no. is. It's looking real pretty. I said, go out and set and watch the sunrise. And Carrie goes pool in front of it. I said, I'll get a city pool and set right down in front of it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, when I was rehabbing houses, the the cheapest thing was material. Yeah, not not now. Anymore. Labor was the most expensive thing. Yeah, pools can but bring your great. value down. Not, not up it's, here, it don't. No. It's, no. <laughs> it's a seller's market, not a buyer's. If market. you get a pool above in ground up what, here, it beats that pond. Oh yeah, I I wouldn't buy a house with a pool. After no. we got our first one, that, that thing was no. that was a nightmare. It was horrible. They're, I hated it. are too much maintenance. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we hated the pool because I would work all day and then I'd have to come home and clean the pool. Because he and said, started like, turning, it. Yeah, it started turning Technology. green. And I'd go down to the pool place and they go, Oh, 75 bucks, you know, put this stuff in it. So I'd put it in there. No, didn't work. Go back. Oh well, this is 150. This will this will work. No, it didn't work. Just another thing you have to take care of and put. End up just it. draining the whole thing and starting over. And yeah. Oh yeah. It was God. That thing was a pain in the butt. Oh yeah. One time. Oh, yeah, they are. We didn't know how, we. Yeah, we had neighbors in oh. the middle of the night. We'd hear a bunch of woo -hoo -hoo, we're like what the hell and look out there and half our neighborhoods in our pool. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, like, uh, hello. Yeah. Right. That ain't good. Was this up here in KC? Where was yeah. this at? Okay. When we lived down at 87. Oh, by Bannister Mall. Bannister yeah. and James A. Yeah. Reed. Not too far from me. Yeah, we used to live yeah. in Robbie. Yeah, you're right. Because I'm right off of Blue Ridge and Bannister. Yeah, our, Blue Ridge and Bannister. Our house backed up to the James A. Actually, James property. A. Reed and uh, Bannister. So you know where the Muslim mosque is? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. our house actually backed up to the field that was owned by the ship that runs that yep. runs oh, wow. the mosque there. So we had no neighbors, just like now, we had no neighbors behind us. Yeah, that's a nice and thing, right? Only goats, goats and horses. So it was At horses it, before the ship bought, bought it, and then after that, it was the goats. At least it was nicely and, fertilized. Yeah, and yeah, uh, that's true. In winter time, you could see 470 from our house. Yeah. Even Makes though sense. it was a quarter mile away, you could still right. see it. it was more, well, maybe half a mile, but it was that little bit of distance. But yeah, it was. It was a lot further. It was that. it was a nice neighborhood back then. Yeah. Now I mean, it's, it's it's mostly it's abandoned. Empty, yeah, yeah. The neighborhood, but, yeah. And for but yeah, I'm, we at, used, I'm actually surprised. So, how often do you see the South Patrol helicopters where you live? I I rarely hear choppers over the house at all. We saw them every day. Really. Are you in Raytown, or just... uh, technically still South Kansas City? Yeah, yeah, it's... that's that's kind of where we lived. Was yeah. one way you're in Raytown, one way you're in Lee Summit. I, other I barely see like cops through here at all either. The most I see is ambulances because there's a lot of older people around me. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you know, ambulances come through to check on them or if there's a call or whatever. But yeah, I rarely see any issues like 
it's kind of nice. <laughs> Do you lose electricity a lot on the weekends? No. From car I've, accidents? I've never, I mean, there's been a couple times that I'll come home that the power's gone off. It's usually because they're doing work on the line or something like that. But. Yeah, we used to lose power about every weekend when the weather Jeez. was good because of uh, people running we into We know the you've never seen a snowplow over there because we never saw one in 14 <laughs> no. years. Yeah, exactly. There's no snowplow in our no, neighborhood. No, there's no such so thing. Weird. Yeah. So it yeah, it it was it was one of those weird things that you're going, really? No snowplow? Yeah. And when I approached little Mayor Cleaver about it, when I saw him in a Hardee's, his little entourage circled him and took him out. Not are you better I'm like, are you person, serious? Current person. You really thought I was gonna walk over and kick his ass? Well, I really I mean, wanted to, but I mean, I <laughs> do do you hear the race? Do they still have the racetrack over there? The what? The racetrack. You can I hear can't. the cars on Saturday. No, I, right? I don't. Uh... The drag strip? Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. that's thing been closed for like 20 years. I'll say I don't <laughs> hear any, any cars. No, so you, know, you won't hear Cause... a car because it's been closed for about 20 years. I mean, now I do hear obviously people riding their four wheelers and yeah. whatever up and down the streets and then their Mustangs or whatever it is that you I can probably, hear. Do you even road. remember the drag strip? That was yeah, my, yeah. My dad would go. Okay. He, he wouldn't. I wouldn't say it was that drag strip, but I they used to have he concerts there too. Yeah. Yeah, they had uh, yeah. actually had Johnny Dare's uh, Halloween thing. Yeah, the Halloween oh, thing. Nice. <coughs> yeah, they Back do. Nineties. So, Early yeah. 2000s. Yeah, that that's been closed. Well, that's in Knobtown. It's up in it's up by Knobtown. So uh, it right. closed a couple years after we moved. So are the strip clubs still in Knobtown? <laughs> I have no idea what Knobtown is. <laughs> Just go down fifty. No you don't know no, where Knobtown is? Go fifty nope. west, and you'll see it. I just moved into Casey. Actual like town. Three, Don't three blink too much. Yeah, th you'll it, miss it. There's a really good fruit market there, and I mean, and I mean, actual fruit, not. Well, when else. when you say fifty, so are we talking like past Third Street and all that kind of stuff? Like, where Keep, are we talking? So go on the east. Take Raytown yeah. Road. Yeah. Take Raytown yeah. Road. You'll come. And you'll go by the uh, the fire de department there when you come down the yeah. hill. Yeah. You now you go past Walmart. It's right at you come down Road. the hill, you'll see a fire department on your left. Okay. Because you're going east, and then as you get down to the four way, that's that's Knob Town. Yeah, there's say, a bunch of the, bars. Yeah. And and it's right at Nolan Road. Okay. Yeah. So where it, Nolan is Road is it where it crosses. splits? Like there's I know there's a split. Maybe maybe that's nah, this, this nah, is just a, a four way. It's just a four way. Okay. Because I'm trying to think. When I get onto 50, it's off of 470 going east. Right. You would go the other direction. Other direction. Okay. Yep. So, you know, I haven't really done gone that direction on 50. So yeah. that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. So, but like I said, if you're looking for a good fruit market, if it still exists, it used to have really good so. fruit. It closes down in the winter. I think it's still down there. I'll have to look for Isn't it, that where I Mark Harmon lives? Or Mark. Uh, I, I have to go to Alford. I have to go to that Walmart Alford. every now and then. Yeah. yeah. Mark Alford, who's running for office, lives there in Knobtown. Mm. For fourth district, your district. Yep. Yeah, I usually end up going to the Lee Summit Walmart. That's how far I go out. We used Over. to go to the Lee Summit Walmart mm -hmm. before it's it was nice actually before it's where it's at gotta, now. You got to be born this so, audience. But yeah, much. it's it's an interesting. <laughs> it's interesting to see. <laughs> some people in Florida and everywhere else are like, "What is what is this talk about? Seventy and fifty yeah. in Knobtown? What is this weird shit?" Well, hey. I just think Knobtown <laughs> is a funny name, and no one. No, it is. It. All the we need strip to get, clubs are there. We need to get the bars. cemetery. We already talked about that earlier. Oh, okay. Actually, Carl, why don't you talk about the paranormal giving tree? Yeah. Yeah, Since folks. People on here now. Uh, go over to Things Network's Facebook page and check out. I believe there's a deal over there. Uh, we're doing an event called the Paranormal Giving Tree this year. There's several locations all across the United States. I mean, some really big we'll say famous location and stuff, but uh, with Paranormal Nation Radio and BB's Down Home Cooking that I'm the manager up here and Cox Cemetery that we take care of here in Missouri, uh, what they're doing is you go to Evenbright and you'll look up the Paranormal Giving Tree and enter that way if you're a veteran to get a free investigation with us at either location or maybe both of them it just depends but uh we're going the giving tree is giving away for each event 
a free or uh, free ticket to a veteran <laughs> and a guest of theirs to go out. So, so you're saying to go check out Eventbrite. Yeah, Eventbrite. Not, right, not even bright, event bright. Even bright, event bright. It go to Things Network. There's a T there. Facebook. <laughs> go to Things Network on Facebook. Uh, there's a link over there to it. Uh, you'll have a list of all the uh, places that's going to be live that night when we do this. So we're going to be live for about 24 hours on the that's network. Awesome. Yeah. Hey, that beats. I, I don't mind the 24 Rosie. hours. I'm not doing 400 hours like I did the last time. No. 400 hours? That's we yeah. hold the Bill of Rights Network holds the world record. Still? For yep. the longest live video. So nobody's tried to beat it yet. Nope. Where where did you do this video? Where, where was it at? On the Bill of Rights Network. Right there. No, I mean like. You, were you, it was, was on it at YouTube. your house. Was it at your? I was at my house. I had ten different hosts on here, so some of us could get some rest. Wow. We were in Imagine. Idaho. We were in Florida. Mm -hmm. We were here in Missouri. Uh, we were in Texas. We got I, on for a little bit. Kansas? We was all over there, Kansas, and everything did that. But uh, when we ended the 400 hours, I was sitting in Houston, Texas, on the couch with Cameron. Jeez. And so and you when said we Cameron ended it. I went to sleep. And, yeah, it was confirmed. And Carl, you said Cameron's on hiatus for the next month. Yeah, he comes back April the 17th. Where is he, he at? Okay. He took some time off. Or work or, pod or no, no podcasting oh. he was getting burnt out yeah take three shows a week so he's not yeah he's not doing three the, uh, shows Bill a week it was actually second four, amendment i think oh i do more than that he taking off the second amendment too yeah second amendment will be off for a month <clears throat> oh okay and That's then crazy. it'll be back on so would he just uh, he would just pull in topics and talk with people and stuff like that Oh, yeah. Well, the Second Amendment Ranch is Cameron's show. Okay. He's the host. I'm the co-host of it. Wow. And Wally's a new co-host on there and stuff. And then we're doing that many shows he came on here with us on yeah, Paranormal yeah. Nation Radio because he's a skeptic. Mm. Right? So he did that. And then... He's an eye roller. You start talking about... Paranormal stuff, it'll oh, roll yeah, eyes. And change, the and, and change the topic. It's funny. Have you noticed that, Carl? I, I, yeah. I mean, I've seen it before, but. The, uh, Charles, this was the shocking part. I'd known Cameron for a year and a half. Met yeah. him in person a couple of times and everything, right? We was on another networking. We created this one and came over here. Well, I invited Denise as a guest on Paranormal Nation Radio. And stuff, and I explained to her that uh, Cameron's a skeptic. You know, he don't believe in this stuff. And we'd already done a few things back and forth, me and Denise, as far as she could tell you how many spirits are behind yeah. you right now, right? We both know that. Cameron didn't. So she tells him there's a lady standing behind him. He goes, Really? I know Cameron's mom and dad, or thought I did, hmm. right? Denise goes, described her, hairstyle, everything. And Cameron's eyes got real big and goes, my mother. And I went, your mother's alive. His birth No, hmm. I was adopted. And I went, oh, no. Oh, wow. That's no. Awesome. But That's Denise awesome. described his birth mother Jeez. to the T. That really got Cameron a little teary-eyed. Remember, yeah. Denise? I mean, it shocked him. It's like, oh, well, really? I'd say so. I mean, you, when you don't expect it, it just kind of happens. Right. Like... <laughs> Hey, I, I mean, uh, yeah, I he again. went from skeptic to believing a little like, bit, okay, a little yeah, bit, because yeah. every time we'd get on here, he'd look at Denise and go, how many's here? <laughs> All 
All right, how many are in rent? What's, what's the total count That's, now? That was like me. The first time I met Katrina, I was just dropping Denise off, you know, at, at the chamber, and I was going to go and go off and do my work and then meet them over at Sally House later. And anyway, they entered, you know, she introduces us, and uh, she goes, Denise says, yeah, that's my husband, Ron, and so this is Katrina, and I, I didn't really know her just from what Denise, you know, talked to her on Facebook or whatever. Uh-huh. And I said, oh, glad to meet you. I'll catch up with you later. And she says a few things, and then she kind of looking at me, looking above my head, and she goes, I'm, uh, there's a spirit with you that uh, he says you're the oldest, but he's your older brother. And I'm like, what? And I knew what she was talking about. Yeah. I'm the, I am the oldest. I got two younger brothers, but my mom had a miscarriage before me. Mm. That's who she was. And, and when I said, and I kind of, a little smart remark, I said, well, you said a he? And she goes, yeah, it's, it's a he. I said, what's his name? And she goes, well, I don't know. I said, you're not very good at this, are you? And she goes, no, he's not giving me his name. Well, he never got named. Mm, That's right. why. Wow. And I'm like, how in the hell would you know that? I mean, yeah, no, you can't look that up on the Internet. No. Well, I mean, that's our, just like. There's only we, our family knew about this. Yeah. I don't even know. I don't even know if Denise, she no, might. I, I knew. Because she she might have known, but I I mean it's not something that you have no, to tell somebody. Don't. No, that's not a very uh, conversational piece. No. no, I mean it is when your daughter in law is pregnant, you talk about that stuff, but yes. you don't talk about it openly. But yes. we hit it off right away after that. I'm that's like, good. holy crap, she's she's good. <laughs> yeah, and I said, hey, let me go do my work. I, I you know now I can't wait to meet you over at Sally House, and that was we got over there and Denise. It, it was bright sunny day like today and uh i, I got over there before them because she took her on a, the scenic tour and i'm sitting there and all of a sudden i see this black cloud rolling across the sky and i'm like wow it looks like it could rain all of a sudden there was no about rain in the time, forecast. Yeah, no rain in the forecast and by the time they pull up man it starts pouring mm -hmm. i mean it's like right in this little area yeah so she gets out. It stops raining a little bit. So Katrina gets out, and I don't know what Denise was doing. I think she's on her phone or something. No, I was anyway, grabbing some Katrina, stuff she was grabbing car. stuff. Anyway, Katrina comes out, and we kind of it was still drizzling a little bit, and we meet on the porch. And man, as soon as we got on the porch, it smelled like somebody dumped, you know, ten gallons of gasoline right right in front of the, the front door. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was strong. We're like, whoa, what is that? She goes, you smell that? I was like, yeah. Big, I mean, strong odor. And I thought, well, they leave the lawnmower over on the side of the house. And I thought, well, maybe it tipped over. I don't, you know. Yeah. And I walk around there and I was like, no, that ain't it. Come back around. We're we're sniffing around like, you know, look like a bunch of rabbits, you know. <laughs> and Denise comes up there and she goes, what are you two doing? And then the smell went away. Dissipated. It, it was gone. I said, well, it did smell like somebody dumped about, you know, 10 gallons of gas right here just a little bit ago, and now it doesn't. And it was crazy after that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know. Katrina yes. was Katrina was something else. Well, you was out there on the front porch when she told me when yeah. my grandmother came to her. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The grandmother I didn't think would come to anybody. No, I was there. We were at yeah. town. This is when they when she came up there, and they weren't. We weren't. We couldn't be there. We were at McPike. No, no, no. I was there. I was out. He was, was sitting out was front playing. with oh, me and was, Katrina. I was out on the porch. I thought that's it was the, the time that no, no, they came in. That's she came the in night town. that we all spent the night at the Sally oh, House. Okay. Yeah, we're okay. at Sally House, and that's when Katrina's. She was telling Carl about everything with her grant with the. Yeah, she says, like, I got a lady here. Man, you turn white. I mean, you I did. turn white. She goes, uh, you like mashed potatoes? And I went, yeah. The fluffy kind? And I yeah. And she's got <laughs> this big bowl. And I went, yeah. Fried chicken? I went, 
Yeah, okay. Huh. Nothing more. But there was these do doilies all over the table, and I went, oh, my yeah. God. No. And that's what I said they were everywhere. She goes in the mm -hmm. curio cabinet, and I went, yep, that's Grandma Albertson. I never did like that lady. <laughs> so, she goes, but there's a chair that has doilies on the arms that nobody could sit in. Mm -hmm. And I went, I don't remember that. So I went home and asked my older sister. Mm -hmm. I said, did Grandma Albertson have a chair? And she goes, yeah, I had doilies on the arms. And nobody was allowed to sit in that chair but Grandma. Yep. That, that was and actually I went, wrong. I went, whoa. Yeah, that like you couldn't have looked her up on the internet. No, no. it's, it's no amazing way. when things like. But that again, happen. okay, so here's me being skeptical. If you had a parent or a grandparent that was an adult during the 1930s to 1970, they would have had doilies on everything, That's if true. not plastic, on everything too, especially if they were Italian. But the specific kind of potatoes, though. Yeah. Yeah, and she even no, told me how to fluff them up. Yeah, and like I that's was like, just, okay, you know, that's too many synchronicities. The, yeah, that's Grandma Alberson always said I could eat a bushel yeah, basket of mashed potatoes. And that's all I eat. That many in a row. Like I said, yeah. it's just no. you still have to be skeptical of stuff oh, yeah. that people tell you because you do. it's the you time do. that they were that they lived. I mean, I'm not saying she was wrong because I'm not. No. I'm just saying skepticism I don't know. The more, saves your life. Sometimes. The more stuff she said and she just kept getting one thing after another. I mean, Carl kept turning whiter and whiter. Well, that's the night that I got attacked in the baby's room. Yeah. With really? Rody up there. In the baby's and room? That, yeah. yeah. I don't know about this. Everybody got scratched except for me. Except for me. I didn't get scratched. That's a first. <laughs> well, you uh, got you got scratched. Touched. I got more than touched, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got groped. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> and, and, okay. You know, but this that's also the night that me and Rody, me and Rody was in the basement, and the echo box said the C word four times. Yep. Oh, yeah. Rody. Holy cow. Yeah. Well, yeah, it came out and said the word, and Rody nice goes, did it say that? And it said it again. Well, and I, she's I mean, I knew that. Player. I knew that whatever was there was not nice, but I didn't know this all oh, happened. Oh, that thing would cuss you out. Oh, yeah. Damn. That's crazy. In fact, most of the time we were there. Until yeah, the it, it was. Yeah, until after. Got this clean, was... and there was nothing. And April, the ladybugs are just common in this part of the country. Yeah. And they stink, so don't touch yeah. them with your hands. Yeah, you that's have to right. wash your hands. Japanese bugs. There's, There's some kind of Japanese ladybug. ladybug. Yeah, they're, they're like a Japanese lady. lady beetle. Yeah, they start coming out. About this time, yeah, they're an invasive species. They're, they're not as red; they're more of like a pale color, kind of orange. Yeah, yeah. kind of orange and black. Yeah. But yeah, they're not ladybugs. Ew. And you you can tell by if you pick one up with your hands and your hands smell really weird afterwards. That'll yep. tell you. That it's yeah, it will. And if you find them in your house, wait until you find them covering the outside of your house. We've mm. had that happen. Yeah, we have too. Yeah, so they're not they're not no, actual ladybug, yeah, just, ladybugs. Just spray them. Just spray them with yeah, inside spray. Like I said, don't waste your money. Have a best guy. The stuff they use is no telling what it'll do to you. Right. They are very. They like fruits, leaves, crops, trees, shrubs, vines, basically anything. Anything. Yeah. 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 They'll disgusting. eat anything. They are. They. Hey, hey. It's crazy. Yeah. No thanks. I'll pass. So, oh. so just be aware that. Like I said, they have gotten bad in the last five years. Yeah, they can get through your went through your into your house. That's what's really bad is they get into the house. So, but no, thanks. no, no supernatural reason. If your house is covered with flies, completely may not be a supernatural reason, but there could be. Just wonder which kid of yours is possessed at that point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If the flies are covering a wall, you might want to tear the wall out and see if there's a dead body in there. You know, it's, or a dead animal of some sort. Yeah, yeah. It's so. It's. I was watching. Um, I can't stand that. I mean, oh, you see, a scary movie. But bees like, nest on the outside. You don't see bees nest I, on the outside. I was gonna say, are they bees or wasps? No. 
are they yeah. uh, hornets? Or hornets. Or, or mud daubers. Yeah, spray those yeah. with uh, kerosene or gas. Either way, right. spray them. Flamethrower. Works every yeah. time. Works Just get everything. a spray and put gasoline in it and go yeah, through the lighter. Yeah, spray and spray. Yeah, it'll be fine. Hairspray. I hate wasps. Yeah, I got their spray works real good. By them. Oh, I, I hate them too. Step I, I hit a nest of them and I couldn't even see my hand. I was just covered. It crotch crickets. I, I know up. about cave crickets, but I've never heard about crotch crickets. <laughs> Whoa, who has crotch crickets? Ooh, that's, yeah, that I don't would, sound good. Now, if, now if that's, not, that's not a good advertisement for hookers, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Why you put the gas in the spray bottle? So, Charles, how did you come up with the idea to start yep, Boogeyman right. Radio? Well, it it wasn't uh, it was it wasn't just my my idea. It was also Dave's too. Okay. It was, uh, I was I was wanting to do a podcast already, and I had one going. Uh, it was Parageek, uh, not uh, yeah, yeah. It was Parageek yeah. Radio. Yeah. And the person I was doing that with, it kind of fell to the wayside, and I was like, man, I really don't want to do a show by myself. And then Dave, I went to Dave because we talked basically like every day that, that like back then, and uh, we were talking like you know why don't we just do something together like let's, let's just do a show. So he had his, I think it was pair of frequencies. I'm probably paranormal frequencies. Yeah, thank you. Uh, he had his show with John, which there were some things that were happening. So John stopped doing that show. So he was looking to do something as well. So we were just like, well, let's do a show together. So we decided to do uh, boogeyman radio and so right now we're just i think on youtube but we also have uh, a patreon as well to help us get through that uh, mm -hmm. it's pretty nice and it's just patreon.com backslash boogeyman radio for the patreon and then boogeyman radio just go look us up on youtube but it's b-o-o-g-e-y-m-a-n radio so one word Yes, it's right. because there's well, another there's a, boogeyman. On yes, there, spelled differently. Yes, with the I E and a Y and one word, two words. So you got to be specific. Yeah, we wanted to do so. It's boogeyman is one word, and that's the B O O G E Y M A N, and then space radio. And what's it's, your topic tonight? So our topic tonight, we're talking about mysterious places part two. Okay. So last week we did Mysterious Places talking about like pyramids and different kinds. It's our 50, 50th episode too, which is really awesome. 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 Um, yeah. So, so we were we were talking about pyramids last week and all the different kinds. So Bermuda Triangle, or not pyramids, sorry, triangles, uh, Michigan Triangle, the Dragon's Triangle, just like different kinds of weird things like that. Tonight we'll be uh, talking about some very just interesting, mysterious places around the world. And no, Chad, I'm the really ladybugs we're talking about aren't really ladybugs. They just eat everything. They're yes. horrible. Right. They're like locusts. Yes. So yeah. they're they're useless. They're, yeah, they're Jap it, called it, Japanese ladybugs. They're in, invasive species that somebody brought back with them from somewhere. Yes. So kind of like those crappy fish. Yeah, that they we start showing the up in our garage here in a little bit. <laughs> and your show starts at 8 p.m. tonight, doesn't it? Yeah, our show starts at 8. Uh, once I'll hop up here at 7, go get ready for things. And we go from... Uh, Seven or eight to nine for uh, Boogeyman on YouTube, and then from nine to ten for our Patreon, and that's just a little extra content. So, hey, David, like share the link right. to Boogeyman yeah, I, Radio. I can't type it in. If you could share that, Dave, that'd be awesome. Yeah, we yeah. don't because Carl doesn't give me admin rights. I can't type in there. Actually, <laughs> I might be able to do it. <laughs> I'm kidding. You can't type in there. No, I can't type in there. No, we can't. I can only type in the private chat. Oh, if... not worried about it. Change. That's, <laughs> That's why I never respond because I have no, to face I'm going to give you uh, the admin rights because we got a new show you, starting Saturday that you might pop into one of these days. Oh, okay. On Saturday? The, cons the conservative view. Oh, okay. No, it we're has... liberals. <laughs> no, we can't do that. We're liberals. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I, but, I'm quitting my job so I can sit at home and <laughs> and watch YouTube and Netflix all day. Are you? That sounds wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, Barbara will be hosting it. Oh, okay. Tina Garcia will be hosting it. Okay. Sally Bright will be hosting it. Who? Sally. <laughs> and I know she's not. That's why I said it. Kimberly Gillard. Okay. Out of Georgia. 
Those four ladies will be on there. Christine will be on there once in a while. So the conservative view, is that what it's called? Yeah, it's the opposite (laughs) of the view on TV. What's Nehemiah want to do? Does he want to host a show or want to get in on it? Yeah, let us know what Nehemiah wants. That's what Nehemiah wants. That's the one that was. Nehemiah wants to do a show. Hey, April, have Nehemiah contact me. I'd I'd let kids do it. I was going to say, if he was the one that was in the background, he he, he could do it. He could talk for hours on end. (laughs) Oh, stay home. I know what's going on. Oh, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Shouldn't have time to fill up time with them for. No kidding. Yeah, no, yeah. You shouldn't but have. no, we got that new show starting Saturday at 5 p.m. Central. That'll be a great show. So, yeah, you can ask him, he knows me. Yeah, I talk yeah. to him yeah, all the time. When is, when is it? You said this Saturday it starts? Yeah, this Saturday it starts at 5 p.m. So, 5 the question p.m. is, five? have they allowed the truckers into Washington, D.C. yet? Yeah, that's already been, happened in these. No, they're, the cops have been trying to keep people out of Washington, D.C. No, they have blocked the streets down there. So the trucks are trying to get in down there, no, but they have it all blocked up. Yeah. That, that's what's that was been, last uh, week. No, that's still No, happening. no. This it's was just happening. in the last 24 hours. Yeah. Oh, yeah. in the last, they're trying to Yeah, get, they yeah, did yes, the other yeah. day. They did their I round. They run them over. They're they did their roundabout their around the beltway, happening. and it was yeah. 60 miles long yeah and 695 is a horrible highway it's at least five six lanes across mm-hmm. i mean even when i left it was six lanes each they direction. had they had three three lanes 60 miles long doing 45 miles an hour Jeez. oh well, that's okay they they don't they're lucky they could go 45 mm. well, and let's be honest it I mean, I've been on they that. Probably highway. went slower than that, that, but that's the top speed. They were going to go the minimum speed allowed. Right, right. forty-five. Right. Without getting a ticket. There's yeah. Irene. So. Hi, Irene. That's on hey. the only. <laughs> yeah. Now you're live, uh, Charles. You're live in Japan, Tokyo, Japan. Awesome. Irene. Yep. That's Irene is one He's of our here. great yep. listeners from Tokyo. She's invited us to Pleased come to over. Meet you. No, yeah, there's plenty of hundreds. I tell you what, we go to Japan. I want to meet her. Her, her apartment it is one country is I would like to go Everybody visit. Everybody commits suicide there. The uh, forest, <laughs> what's it called? Um, the suicide forest. I know, but I'm trying to think of the actual name. <laughs> Doesn't it start with a Y? Yeah, uh, and it's near Mount Fuji. Yeah, it's the base, I think, right? Sally says they're on the Beltway only right now. They haven't. Yeah, but you said there. they're covering three lanes and aren't leaving anytime soon. Good. Stay there. They leave every night and yeah. go to Hagerstown. Hagerstown. Speedway. Yeah, you gotta say it right. It's Hagerstown. It starts, it starts That's with where okay. Joe, Joe Boxall lives right now. No. Oh. But anyway, they go there and camp out and then leave out in the morning and go drive back to the Beltway. Oh, it's either Okigara or Aokigara. There it is. Yeah, there it is. And so, Irene goes, you haven't seen anything until you travel on the highway is, in yeah. Tokyo. So, I'll bet. The thing is, is the truckers should be hanging out in Laurel because they got lots of hookers. And uh, oh. and it's a high-class neighborhood, even with, with the hookers. It'll oh. really piss people off if they went to Laurel. Sounds mm. perfect. So, just saying. Suicide I've waterfall. Suicide waterfall. Never heard about that one. Oh, she could tell you all about all them things over there. Oh, yeah. Irene has well, told I mean, us yeah. so much so, about it. It's it's so wrapped up with ancient lore <clears throat> and mystery. It's fantastic. Like, Isn't that where the suicide, suicide but... force is at over there, too? What are uh, some countries you guys would visit? If I could visit, I'd go to Scotland or Ireland, either way. That's it? Family would come. From, well, I mean... Scotland... The current uh world things right now yeah probably well, yeah. yeah with the current world things i go to scotland maybe ireland maybe now i will say one place i'd love to go if it wasn't so freaking cold and i could i could fly antarctica i would hmm. so go to antarctica and see what's around there just do a flyover of some areas and see if i could find some interesting holes leading anywhere 
be very interesting. But yeah, like, I don't want to go there for any specific purpose. Scotland, Ireland, Japan. Yeah. Uh, well, Sweden. In our case, I've got a lot of family on my mom's side yeah, from that. Sweden would be cool to get. Yeah, that would be yeah. Cool. I may be going with my cousins on that one. So yeah, but that's a couple years away. I really wouldn't mind going to Spain. Mm. Any particular reason, or just cause? Yeah, uh, one of the foreign exchange kids uh, that Cassidy had there was from Spain. I got to know her, her mom and dad, her sister, and everything. And uh, they showed us some really cool stuff over there. So, yeah, it'd be interesting to go over there. Yeah. It would be. It would really be really cool. I mean, the great thing about the U.S. is it's so obviously so massive and so so geographically diverse you can see so much here in the united states i love it yeah and i've seen just about all of it i drove over yeah. the road for 20 years well, and i've my 29 seen 29 years of living i haven't seen much <laughs> there there's a lot out there to see yeah and it's kind of like i've seen it once i don't need to see it again oh well, that's fair and there's other places that oh, i wouldn't mind going back and seeing right them. yeah you know, but yeah, none of them have, none of them are on the East Coast. I'll tell no. you that. For That's a foreign country. I did. You know, I want to go to Georgia. I want to go to Savannah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to go to Charleston, South Carolina. And maybe the only reason I want to go to Virginia Beach is family. But right. Yeah, but we went again. We went to the Bahamas. Not many places. But we'd like to go back, but we'd also like to, you know, go to some other islands or other place you know down in that area i what? want to go to bermuda do you yeah bermuda. i still want to go to bermuda. About, one of the uh, neatest places to go to is flagstaff arizona yeah. i've heard flagstaff's pretty because cool. you can sit right there on the interstate in the middle of flagstaff and go an hour in any direction anytime yeah and hit one of the four seasons oh yeah all the time oh, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, people don't realize Flagstaff gets more snow than Buffalo. Yeah, when they in the winter time, when they say flag goes down, it dumps. Yeah. Oh yeah, but you get yeah. out there, you got pine trees that are three, four hundred foot tall. Is Flagstaff up in the hills, or is that? Yes, yeah. it's it's in oh, the yeah. mountains. It's a, it's over seven thousand feet above sea level. It's in the hills, and then you go south to Phoenix. Yep, an hour. And you're in the desert. I was gonna say where it's just complete actually it's 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 <laughs> actually that? all desert. I mean, technically, it's high desert, just like Denver. Right. Yeah. Denver's high desert. So right. when we go, there have been times where we've driven through and highways clear. There's snow in the shade, and there's other times we drive through, and you can tell the difference between the Holbrook will be 80 degrees yep. you get up there and it's 40. yeah yep. you get down difference. to williams and williams is even colder for some reason this is the gateway to the grand canyon yep there is a breeze that comes off this mountain that it's always cooler there than any other place that we go huh. and yeah williams, williams pretty much closes in the winter but I, you talk about beautiful it is gorgeous yeah. It is. It's beautiful up there. And the thing is, is you don't yeah, even it's know not you're driving like, through a city. Yeah, it's not like the part of Arizona you would think. You know, the desert so, and the cactus and that. It's when when would be the best time to go to avoid the snow? And you go to uh, anytime uh, after April. Anytime after April. Right. Okay. Because honestly, it snows up there until May. Yeah. But you've yeah. got to be careful. But okay. in April, you can you can look at the the radar it's and cats. figure it out because we've. We have made it there in January, as you know, February, and February, and we missed the storms that went through because mm -hmm. of timing. And we we they had ice storms both times that we were out there in January and February driving to Vegas. So um, some of the worst places, I mean, they closed the highways down out there. Luckily, I there's know. casinos where they break down, where they shut the highway off. Yeah. <laughs> but for a yep. while there. You couldn't even stop and stay at those in New Mexico. They had those all closed right. for a while there. 
if you weren't a there was a route you traveled wasn't it 40 mostly carl oh i traveled 40 i took 70 all the way through denver all the way to grand junction yeah. that way grand i Junction's did nice. 80 up through there the farthest uh, i've been is uh, idaho springs farthest way. well driving okay. wise farthest you know, right idaho out. springs after we went through there the last time that we took the north route they yeah. had a mudslide really yeah they had a hailstorm that happened the day after yeah. we left. Was I've, it on the I've been to every state, but yeah, it's Alaska, on the side of mountain. Hawaii. Yeah. yeah. It's, I mean, I'm, I need a good long road trip anyways. The last one that I took was a motorcycle yeah, when trip you, back in 2018, I think. You want a good yeah, long we trip? To Denver, wasn't it? Go to, to go to Lake Tahoe. Yeah. That in is summer. gorgeous. Yes. Okay. Or Carson City, Lake Tahoe, Reno, all that up Virginia in there. Virginia City. Yeah. You meet up with Michelle uh, LeBaron. She yeah. lives up there. I'll have to get really good insurance on my motorcycle just in case anything happens. But Another place one, that's good to On the way to Tahoe, you pull off the side. There's a little pull-off right there. Pay 10 bucks. They take you up the trail. It's where they film Bonanza. Oh, wow. The cabin is still there. Oh, that's wow. Okay. One, oh, of the yeah. place, one of the places you should try to go, Deadwood. Deadwood? Yep. Deadwood. It's only about eight hours from here. That sounds really yeah. familiar. Yeah, Deadwood, South Dakota. Yeah. yeah. Okay, up north. Okay. Yeah, so, we, we need so, to go up there. Yeah, we go. Deadwood. Yeah, the farthest north I've been is probably Lincoln. Yeah. You haven't been Lincoln. to Omaha? I'm thinking, yeah, I've been to Omaha. Yeah. Okay. And because when you went I to Melbourne tell Manor. How far. Yeah, when you went to Malvern Manor, you were yeah, you, you were further far. you were further north. Yes. Than Lincoln. Okay, yeah. Okay, see, huh? that's that's I always okay. get Lincoln and Omaha's well, position I mixed up. I always, yeah, right. I always get Lincoln and Omaha position messed up, but yeah, yeah Lincoln south Omaha. of Omaha, okay, right? So, I was gonna say, if you've been to Omaha, you've been further than that, than okay. right. Lincoln, Council Bluffs, all that. Well, I'm sure up north looks a lot better now after the rain's kind of gone that's away. But, well, maybe yeah. after the flooding, I don't even know if well, that's what I'm saying. After the this flood, we're both right off 80. Yeah, I've but, never uh, been further than. Oh, Marshalltown, Iowa is as far north as I've been in Iowa. I've been to Canada, eh? Yeah. Yep, I have too. Do you still have to have a vac do you still have to be vaccinated to get into Canada? Well, I don't know. I haven't been yep. there lately. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't yep. matter. I'm sure they're still locked up because they got an idiot. It don't matter because you can get Absolutely. in, but you gotta be you vaccinated to get out. To get out. Yeah, yeah that's so stupid. Yeah. Glad that's COVID just like can tell the difference. Luke, Anyways. Luke had to get his shot. To be able to fly into the United States. That's bullshit. I know it. It's so wrong. So hopefully he doesn't get sick from no, the shot. He got it a while back, so he's good to go. He got it after he went to Canada, flew into Canada, and they detained him for two weeks in jail. Because he didn't have he didn't have the shot. He didn't have the vaccine cards or anything. So they deported him back to the UK. But they held him for two weeks in a They're jail. Assholes. Pardon my French. So no. messed up. So messed up. So anyway, he went back, got the shot, got everything set up, and he says, I'm tired of this. I'm flying into JFK. Yeah. I said, if it don't work, you can always fly down south and come across the border. I wouldn't have went through Canada anyway. So I say, no habla inglés? Yeah. Yep. Or do yeah, just come up through Mexico. That's easy. But they're way. not letting the Ukrainians that's, across. I was gonna say that's the. Did yeah. you know that? Yeah, exactly they're, they're, right. They're, I know so, how they would so, vote. So why are they not letting the Ukrainians across? Because they, they would vote Republican. <laughs> so, I, okay, that's why. That's why they won't let the Cubans no, in. I think it's great. I just, it's just, yeah, it's Seriously. so stupid. It's, yeah, it's bad. I mean, if you saw the president, he's on TV saying, "Come to America, yeah. we will welcome you," but yet. The opposite is happening at the border, at the southern border. They got right. to Mexico. Somehow, some way, they got to Mexico, and they're trying to come across. And they're and these are political refugees. Yeah. These people have a. They have they meet the criteria. Yeah. Who come to our country legally right. through that border? But no. So what he needs to do is he needs to smuggle they come the immigrants here, that get shuttled on the buses to just random parts of the United States. Yeah, that's that's where that's where he needs to, if he wants to get in here free. 
But yeah, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, when you're a political refugee, it's a whole different ball game. Well, yeah, I mean, you look, know, look at Poland. Or at least it this should is be. stupid stuff. Poland, they accepted, I don't know how many refugees. Everybody. Did. But then right. the, the UE, the European Union, decided to put sanctions against them. Mm -hmm. Against Poland? Yeah. Yeah. For it's being for, humanitarian. For, for being too, what I'm going to say, right side. For too right. leaning to yeah. Republican. For their, right. their times in the past. So Poland was very, like, 0%. They're not going to accept any immigrants whatsoever. They were very heavy with that. And then all of a sudden this stuff happens with Ukraine. They're like, all right, yeah, we'll accept refugees. It's totally fine. And right, now all of a sudden they... Yeah, that's exactly. That's just how it is. It's humanitarian. Exactly. So now the EU is like, oh, well, because of your ways in the past, we're putting sanctions against you and somebody else. Yeah. I can't remember who they Probably said. Turkey. Maybe. I, mm, I don't know. I, I don't I, know. I, it might have and been. There's another country that's Hungary. over on the side. We know it's not against uh, Belarus because that's, that's the butt buddy of Russia. Yeah. Yes. Um, I know. Uh, let's see. That's Putin, one of Putin's bitches. Yeah, it's just crazy. But, yeah. Totally I don't, uh, I don't yeah. know. I wouldn't mind kicking some little Ruski's ass. We still owe them from the 80s, don't we, Carl? I was going to say, it sounds like yeah. the 80s all <laughs> over again. We do. We owe them a lot. Yeah, yeah, that's crap. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's just so sad what's happening with all that stuff. It man. is. It's, it's sad well, and... And it was allowed to happen. Yeah. It's sad. It's, and what's going on in this country is even sadder. Oh, yeah. You look at that border. Two million illegal. Oh, there's more than that. Yep. That. I, two million arms, that they documented, right not counting the other million that they didn't yeah. capture. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. But if you're going to come in the country, come through the port. I, I well, don't yeah, have a problem here, with that. Come legal. Yeah, like, I, I had a friend of mine, he he had the audacity to say that Biden has turned away more immigrants than Trump has. Yeah, I know. Just the, okay. the cure. You mean cure. legal or? No, no, just all around. He, he's just like. Yeah, he turned Biden them away turned all away right. More. He like, turned them and the... said, get on this bus and here's a yeah, ticket. Go anywhere yeah, exactly. in the country you want. Off where you want. God, so stupid. I was, and I, I just stopped the conversation right there because that just showed how you know, politically brainwashed yeah. he was. There's nothing you can yes, do. You exactly. were dealing no. with the monkey. Yes. You know, hear no yes. evil, see no evil, yes. speak no evil. They, That's they're, the they're You're living the a complete, they're living a complete fantasy in a different yeah. timeline universe. You see them get up on the podium and talk about it every single day. Our economy's doing fantastic. Sanction or not sanctions. Inflation's a good thing. Our thing. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Hey, you want to know what? No, they're not saying it's a good thing now. I, no, yeah, now it's not. It's Putin's fault now. Yeah, I feel like yeah. something yeah, else. It's Putin's fault. Yeah, you ever notice that yeah. the Democrats blame everybody else? But they blame themselves? everything. Oh, but what yeah. happened it's to It's everyone uh, else's problem. It's uh, yeah. it's everyone else's fault. Well, what Charles, you never did. You seen the state of the union, they didn't work. you? Oh, I mean, I saw bits and pieces. I couldn't. Did you see Pelosi? Which time? When she stood up behind him going. Oh, yeah. And she. Oh, yeah, she's yeah. crazy. What, I'm sitting there she's, going, no, are we having her... DVDs or what? Hold on. I'll look it up. See if I can find a video of it. You know what's really bad about all this is I feel like I'm living in the 70s. Honestly, you yeah. didn't this get is worse. This is going to be worse than Carter. The, the gas pumps. I remember going with my dad down to the to go get gas. You can only get it at certain every like every other day. Then we yeah. had to stand in line. My dad said, "You're going with me because I may need to. Push I may need car. some help to fight somebody, or push yeah. the car, or push exactly. the car." Exactly. That's so, why I went down. So, did you notice our gas station? Okay, so our gas station just down the street, the BP, four of the gas pumps have had covers on them. Uh huh. You can yeah, only you get gas use. in two. Now, suddenly, they got gas. They got them all open again. But apparently oh, in really? Lewisburg, they had a run on gas. Don't, uh, uh, Carl, don't open the page yet. I'm going to get the video to a certain time and it'll show you the weirdness okay. of yeah, the just No, Biden, Biden's dumber than Carter. And I, I thought oh, 100%. Carter is one of the dumbest presidents. Oh. But I don't think that, I don't think that Jimmy Carter Ob hated. Obama was one of the worst we ever had. But I don't think Jimmy Carter hated the United States. He wasn't States. a dumbass because he knew 
He knew how to screw this country. No, I up. think Biden's has done worse than Obama. Oh yeah, he's, he's a, a long one. shot. Carter was because just dumb. He, he Carter, didn't hate yeah, America. he was just a total idiot. Yeah, he didn't. Yes. He, he, didn't, yeah, he, didn't hate, he didn't mean to, to take our country down, but right. he did because he's an idiot. And he had but bad. Biden hates our country, and he's just an idiot. So and I think country. a lot of it's I know a lot of it's on purpose. Is if you wanted to destroy this country, you, you'd be doing what exactly what he's doing. They got yeah, within a year. Right. Exactly. We've gone from amazing economy and amazing living within a year to the worst I've ever seen. Yeah. Way yeah, worse than during oh, yeah. Obama. You think people are gonna put up with this shit for three right. more years. No. I'm telling you, it ain't gonna happen. I mean, gas no. is up over they will be. There's gonna be a red be wave here pretty soon, if you know what huh? I'm saying. There's gonna be yeah, a red wave going here be. pretty soon if you know oh, what I'm I saying. Know. I'm working no, I'm not. I'm not year. worried about the election in November because Republicans, they get in there and they sit on their ass. Oh yeah. So, well, they, all I hear from elect- them once they get control, it's like, well, we need to work with the Democrats. The not Democrats. if we elect the right I'm people. Like, no. We have to get the ones that are in there right now out of there. Right. Yes. Yeah. Right. The old, yeah, I get the, the right older guys there. that are in there right now are not. Yep. They haven't done a dang thing. And it, and I see wanna... more out of Joe Manchin or however oh, yeah. out of out of him. Yeah. Than any of our, well, not, I shouldn't say any. There are a few that are actually, um, oh, what is his name? I can't think of his name at the moment, but uh, there's a few people that I'm actually, I, I do follow and try to keep up with that right. have been endorsed by certain people that I'm watching very, very heavily because, yes, you're right. There are absolute but, rhinos in there that aren't doing a damn but, thing. Oh, if exactly. If you control the House and the Senate and yeah. you put the turtle McConnell back in there, yeah. well, what good did it do you? We're just, he's, a, he's an idiot, nothing. too. He's, he's, right. He does. He goes along to get along. He's, he's a yes man. And you put yes. McCarthy. McCarthy. I'm hearing that you know they're going to make him in charge of the house. God, well, it not. depends on what day he's. He he's he's a I don't know conservative one day and the next day he's yeah. uh, back to Democrat. Yeah. But I don't yeah. want him in the house. I want Jim Jordan leading the house because he's a conservative every day, every minute. Yes. And he does yes. take yes. no shit yes. from nobody. Absolutely. I wish that, you now, know, it's amazing Ted he was Cruz only one. Johnson in the Senate. He was the only one going after Fauci. You guys yeah. know yeah. right. Oh, Al- Rand Paul would be all right. Rand Paul, Lauren Boebert, yeah. um, what is her name? Someone else, but yeah, there's a lot. But if of, you're gonna put the same idiots back in there, then yeah, forget then it. Then nothing's yeah. gonna get done. Yeah, you know, and, I, and Chad is right. They are talking about COVID numbers going up again suddenly today. Yeah, yeah. I know how that works. Heard that. And, yeah, and that. Pfizer apparently isn't making enough profits, and they're pushing that fourth vaccine. It started with the uh, the pul- the like, numbers in China them. started to go back up. I think within this last week, and they're like, "Oh, here it comes again!" Like, shut up. I think yeah, Rand Paul got Fauci figured out. Yeah, he, oh, he knows. He knows. Funny he how did. he's just disappeared, huh? Yeah. 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 I notice it. I'm happy. I- I'm glad yeah. that man's gone with his him and his three four masks. Yeah. yeah. True. I mean, exactly. they should have been telling us, how about this? You need face coverings because you can get the virus through your eyes. If you can get it through your nose and your mouth, you can get it through know, your eyes. It's an aerosol right. virus. This isn't, we're not talking water droplets here. Right. We're talking about air. Right, right. right. Is, like, can, so, if you can fart through your clothes, the virus yep. can get through your mask. Right. If I can smell your cigarettes yeah. at the casino yes. through my mask, it's not doing anything. No. Yeah, that's what I said the whole time. I was like, these masks are not doing anything. Yeah, now <laughs> finally when we you. go to Vegas, we don't have to wear that's masks. That's why I haven't been wearing them in over a year. You should have seen You want to hear something funny? Lindsay's yeah. mask that she wears is mesh. So it's all holes. So uh, is lace. Because they have to wear them. You know, they were having to wear them out there. So this is what they wore in the airplane are these mesh masks. But again, they say you can yeah. wear any mask you want. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. Well, but yeah. see, the, the, Chad the, makes a good point. How did it stop the flu but not COVID? Well, because the flu bigger, particles are bigger. Yeah, they're bigger particles. Yeah. The bigger well, and particles. Yeah, the mask will work on that, but not COVID. A lot of the symptoms of the flu. Mimic. Right. COVID. Right, but hmm. you didn't hear and nothing how did the about flu go the down flu. Eight percent the flu, before. did you? Yeah, no, yeah. The, the last couple of years. The last right, two years. right. And Even how come the flu went down ninety eight percent right before they started hev- heavily enforcing yep. masks? Mm-hmm. Right. So you're telling me the flu went down before we started enforce- enforcing the masks? Right, because everybody huh. had COVID. So whatever it is I had <laughs> that December that you were here. That's probably why I was good at work <laughs> and I didn't have to worry about it because yeah, I already had well, exposed you. Luke had a short nap. 
Where's he at? I will say that I do have the video. He's ready. still up in the air. He's flying in now, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. I do. He'll land in about five hours. Ready. Where's he landing? JFK. Yeah, JFK. Good luck. And then he's flying in the Houston. Then he gets uh, on Delta and flies to Houston. Oh, okay. Well, don't don't fight with the Delta people. They'll have you arrested. My mask fell Just off it. and they woke me it, up. Yeah, yeah. his <laughs> mask fell off and they woke me up. They probably couldn't breathe and you just pulled it it's off. Like, ah, screw this thing. It's so probably stupid. in his sleep. He just like, oh, you did know, you, well, did it was you a find it? Charles? What? Yeah, I've got it ready to go whenever you guys are ready. Okay. Denise okay. hadn't seen this, right? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. What is it? No. Oh. Yeah. Iraq have faced Brack. in Afghanistan, have faced many dangers. Wait, can you guys hear the audio? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. One being stationed at bases, breathing in toxic smoke from burn pits. <laughs> many of you have been there. I've been in and out of Iraq and Afghanistan over 40 times. These burn pits that incinerate waste, the waste of war and hazards material, jet fuel, and so much more. And they come home, many of the world's fittest and best trained warriors in the world, never the same. Honestly, I'm not sure that you didn't so watch weird. the State Sorry. of the Union. There we go. She's right. so weird. Oh, you kicked off Denise and Ron. Oh. There we go. There we I go. mean, she's sitting there like this, kind of. Yeah, just yeah. It's all stage. Tell you see Schumer get up when he was supposed to stand up and do say his little thing. He. He jumped the gun. He's like, oh, political. No, actually, I think it's because Nancy and him wrote his speech for him. So she knew what he was going to say. And he's like, oh, this is my part. And she's oh, like, oh, my God, he's getting it right. And then it's my part. This is the part I will I say, I, I do have one more video I want to show you guys before we go. Okay. And it, to me, and it's, I, I, so I watched this channel on YouTube called Liberal Hive Mind. And I don't know if you've ever heard them, but they point uh -huh. out a lot of the hypocrisy that's been coming. Oh, out. yeah, they're all hypocrites. Yes. So they've been pointing out a lot of great stuff. Well, they've been mentioning how more and more people are finally standing up against the left side narratives. And not just normal citizens, but celebrities are now starting to, like, talk about things. Famous, like, famous people, celebrities, like, even some politicians. who are Which, no, like, okay, that's they know no more than anyone else. Exactly. But what I'm saying is... People that heavily roasted Trump during the time of his, you know, election, the elections mm -hmm. and his term. There's some now that have actually, like uh, Bill Maher, if you see the stuff that he's been talking yeah. about here a lot lately. He's done a 180. A complete 180. Well, there's this one guy, Trevor well, Noah. For the truth. Yeah, Trevor Noah. I don't know if you know who he is. Uh, I can't stand it. I, I can't. Know. I can't either. Trust me. I cannot stand him either. And I hate cancel culture so much. But this is, I came across this video and I was just like, holy cow, I think things are starting to, to flip now. And I'm yeah, going to share this real quick. Yeah, he's, he's uh, It just, it blew my mind. Little pecker head. Now, mind you, he is, uh, he's, he's taking a little jab at Trump, but it, it's a funny jab. It's actually not too bad. But I'll go ahead, if you could share that again for me, Carl, it'd be great. Thank yeah. you. I came across this and I couldn't believe he said this. Saudi Arabia isn't playing ball with Joe Biden. And you know what? You can say what you want, but this would have never happened to Donald Trump. Never. No one was ever ignoring Donald Trump's calls. Yeah, because if you ignored Donald Trump's calls, you didn't know how he would respond. Maybe he'd send an angry tweet, or maybe he'd just like ban your country from everything. You don't know. That's why I bet in these situations, Biden actually wishes that he could hire Trump to step in as president wildcard. You know, just keep everyone on their toes. Because if Trump was calling, you best believe the UAE, they'll be racing to pick up the phone. Oh, Mr. Trump, Mr. Trump, we're here. We're here. Hello? Too late, Ahmed. You made me wait two rings. We're bombing the UAE and the UFC, just in case. The UFC, just in case. So I came across that video and I'm like, holy cow. This oh liberal leftist that's pushing, that pushed a bunch of this anti-Trump BS is just like had went on national TV and said this whole on, on Comedy Central. He said, yeah. that. and that yeah, there right was, there yeah. is that's uh, somebody drank the right coffee that morning. Yes, well, okay, mm -hmm. like it goes back to Bill Maher, and then there was somebody on ABC, I can't think of the anchor's name. Hey, but he's like, if you look at the statistics, that Trump was in exactly like if None you look at the it. statistics, the inflation actually started around the time that Joe Biden got into office. Gee, 
You don't say. Really? Who huh. thought that there might be a... Gee, who oh. didn't see this one coming? Oh, I you don't didn't know. see any. I knew all this stuff right. was going to happen. It's not, yeah, it's not and Chad, you're right. I, I completely agree. That's the, That's first, the first time, time I, I actually, ever laughed at him. I laughed at him because it was uh, like... Because you never know what Trump's going to do. That's why nobody invaded anywhere when Trump was in office. Yeah. They right. thought he, well, you know, the good news is, is that they thought that he was bipolar, which is a good idea. Make sure people yeah. think that you're off kilter all the time. Yeah, exactly. And, and this is what I was talking about earlier. Chad brought it up to don't say gay bill. And it, it's it's so surprising that. That they, they didn't actually, read it. They don't know. Yeah, no, they, they don't, don't know a thing about they it. They did right. not read the bill. It's right. all they, about they, they don't read any of it. Again, they, right? Last week we had on Jay Lynch, and he said, basically, people read the headline and assume the rest. Yep. They don't yeah. read the whole story I, to get down there. To I love it. What it said. I love it when when people go to campuses and they'll take uh, some of Donald Trump's policies and things that he wanted to get done. Of course. Yeah. And he'll like, hey, like they won't say whose policy it is. They just they right. make you guess. Is this a is this a Republican or Democratic policy? Right. And, does, and then does it they matter? say it. No. It, well, what's the thing is they say it. They're like, oh yeah, that actually sounds really great. They're like, oh by the way, that was Donald Trump's policy. Yeah. They're like, oh well, that's horrible. Oh, that, like, oh I hate that. Exactly. Well, I've mean, talked to right. a lot of people that, that that didn't like Trump, and I was like, okay, which policy did you not like? Yeah. Oh, I just, I just, I, I just, I, I just. They can't give you one because they don't have any. Donald Trump's a racist. How is he a racist? Oh, yeah. he just he doesn't like Mexicans. What? what? Just because he closed down the border didn't mean he didn't like Mexicans. He wanted. Oh, he keeps kids here. in cages. I'm sorry that that was an Obama established thing, and Joe Biden continues to do that. Actually, that was it, established during Clinton. Was yeah. it during Clinton? If you go back, go back and look even at farther. It, Let's Clinton just, started that. Well, like I, I don't say, see dude, how that's even a racist thing. It's if you not, get in trouble, if you get in, in the United States, if you get in trouble, let's say you get into a altercation or an accident, if you're well, drunk you and what, you have kids in the car, they're going to be separated from you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what about, Walk across the border into some other countries. You'll be killed. Try to go yeah, to Mexico. They'll put your ass in jail or kill you. Try to go from here to Mexico. Yeah, we got tough. Yeah. You're gonna, you're gonna be in jail for two years at least, or dead. Try to go to Iran. Yeah. The, Illegally. All of your beliefs and everything will get you straight up killed. That's just... Oh, we're... we're, we're to, they're not tolerant here. What? Yeah. Is, we've become one of the most tolerant countries in the world. We've become... Too, oh, I feel like we've almost become too tolerant. Yes, we have. Because people don't get on <laughs> the left that illegal... Is illegal no yeah. matter. Yeah, what part of illegal do you not? Just yeah. because your beliefs well, that you think it's not illegal doesn't make it not illegal. Well, let's, right. let's and this goes for you. Also, got to know that everybody that liberals don't they really don't like fallen law and order. No, they don't they're like facts right. at all. They make up their they really own stuff don't. and they expect everybody else to abide by it. Right. It's like, like sorry, that's not how that works. Like I said, I so. did this one time. I had put out there, you know, what illegal is illegal no matter what it is and who does it. Yeah. So if you break the law, you Charlie, you break the law, you should pay for pay the price for the law you broke. Exactly. No matter how minor the infraction. Same as if Obama breaks the law, he should yeah. go to jail or whatever Absolutely. it is that he broke he did. a lot of them. Uh, uh, how about the, the, laws how about the are... Clinton Foundation, Joe Biden, Obama all spying on Trump before right. he got into all office and while yeah. he's in office. Treason. Yeah. That's bigger it's than treason. Watergate, if you ask yeah. me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Watergate, basically, <laughs> when that once, wasn't shit once Nixon said, I resign, they were done. Yep. They didn't right. even look Nothing into any more of it. And he was no. the law guy. Yeah. All yeah. them up there should be charged with treason. Yep. Yep. Enough evidence and account. Yep. The FBI and the CIA. I, I don't. I don't want them in jail. jail. I want them dead. I want them dead. How, they, how about they, here's they another good one for you. Treason. Um, treason sentencing treason. is that by death. Is, is death. Yes, yeah. it treason is. Is, yes. is death. Yeah. Uh, how about and selling a bunch of uranium to Russia? Man, no, nobody wants to talk about that. Hmm. What? So the the. Uh, Billions of dollars of uranium that was sold to Russia. Oh yeah, back oh, during the yeah. Times, Clinton. Yeah. A little handshake deal with Hillary. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess Nobody she took to the uranium that. in her hand and mm. just slid it to him. No, they don't so want wait, to talk wait, about does, any does that. Does that tell me that that uh, the the Clinton administration, the Obama and Bidens, were blaming Trump for the exact things that they were doing? Huh. Yeah, that's what yeah. the Democrats do. 
They all the stuff that they claim for, they actually do. There, there is an actual. Uh, I can't think of what the term is, what it's called, but that is an actual thing where you blame someone right. for what you're guilty of. Yep, it's That's a projection like of some sort. syndrome. Yeah, yeah. Make, it's, making it's someone crazy. sick so you you can control and yeah. get pity. Yeah, yeah, it's just it, it blows blows my mind how uh, how messed <laughs> up these people are. Luke just can't wait to hit Texas. He's already <laughs> wanting his truck to put a flag in the back window, get a pair of cowboy He's boots in his yeah. But I will say the more we have these podcast people, even uh, Russell Brand, he's been talking about a lot of more right-leaning stuff and in, in, in talking on the hypocrisy of the left. It's it's been nice. I'm very thankful. And I'm gonna I'm gonna try to sign up for Truth Social as soon as it comes out for my phone. <laughs> I have Apple products, but it's a uh, it's, it's getting out of hand and he even warned us he warned everybody it's gonna yeah. get bad it's gonna get worse than you've ever seen right and, and it hadn't even it. reached that yet no it hasn't i right. have that's the, that's the my, sad part you know what's bad is all the gains i made in my 401k last gone. year gone yep. yep we cannot retire when we planned on it now because biden is a dumbass yep he, and he allowed shit to America. happen and worst it's because like they were saying on Newsmax last night, he is predictable. Very. And yeah. he is not going to do anything. He's going to slap him on the hand and say, bad boy. Yep. Yeah. And, and probably just like that. And then Harris is going to talk to him like they're three years old and scold them and then cackle. Well, I don't know. Tell me I'm wrong. I mean, no, you're not. You're not. Wrong. No, you're, you're dead not wrong. on. You're dead um, on. I got another video that it just kind of in in the bushes were involved in this too. I don't like 100%, yeah. but it, it's all leading up to what a lot of people know as, you know, they say, some people say globalism, others say the new world order, right? No, we don't need a new world right. order. I agree. I know that's what I'm saying. I completely yeah. agree. But if people think when you mention the new world order and other, there are people like, Oh, that's, that's crazy. That's ridiculous. I got a video for that. And I'll show it to you real quick. It's not as crazy as what you think. Oh, no. Let me go back here. All right. Ready to go? Okay. Very real prospect of a new world order. That we needed a new world order. And instead, it looks like we got a lot of disorder. One of the ways it will drive the change is through global governance and global agreements. It's about... A new world order. Novus order seclorum. A new order for the centuries, for the ages, forever. Out of it came a new Europe, a new world order. You really need to bring China into the creation of a new uh, 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 world order. To lead in shaping a new world order for the 21st century. Uh, create uh, uh, a new world order. The, the way we're going to win over the long term is not just militarily. We've got to win over uh, hearts and minds. We've got to give them a stake in creating the kind of uh, uh, world order that I think all of us would like to see. Very re That puts the money on the marker right there. Apparently, the only one who didn't say anything about a new world order is Trump. And Bush I was going to mention that. I was like, gee, I wonder why they hate him so much. And hmm. the second Bush. Yeah. Oh, he did. I'm pretty sure that that young. I didn't see him in the video the anyway, and he probably did. But I tell you, when I saw Al Gore, thought of the global warming farce. Jesus. Yeah. In his house in Tennessee, and guaranteeing that that mansion he has is not yeah. green at all. Yeah, no. I guarantee it's it's seven. It's sixty eight in the summer. And and don't forget and the most famous saying was he created the internet. Internet. Yeah, oh, yeah. I know. I don't know how so that. Stupid. I don't know how that happened. But Gee, you again, know, I I will say, and this is a little quick topic before I know we got fifteen minutes left. But um, right, I definitely believe in climate change, but not, um, uh, what is it? Not what we were just talking about. I, I don't believe in global warming. Drastic. I don't. New yeah, world I, world I don't believe. No. It. We cynical. start. We start. I'll start lobbing nukes. You'll see some climate oh, yeah. change. Well, oh, okay. Yeah. I I do think that we have the technology to affect the weather to a point well, we geo, have... geoengineering we do have that technology they mm -hmm. they can make rainstorms over in dubai that's yeah without a, 
that's, that's right. A real they saw thing. The, they saw that's the clouds and, yeah, and with, with ions and stuff like that, and it makes it rain. So right. it, that's that's, that's a real thing. Well, we were just talking about Arizona. That used to be a glacier. Yeah. yeah. So and, unless like, the dinosaurs like were driving big ass SUVs back oh, then, fun fact, you know, and that anyway. just happened naturally. So and that if, had nothing to do with us or if anyone. Only America does something; it's not going to affect the damn thing. No. Right. So because you know that China and India are polluting the world faster oh, than we worse. can make exactly. any yes. any change. Well, oh, Indonesia is just as bad. Is Luke what's going to affect this America? country? No. Is these rising like gas world. prices and diesel prices, people aren't going to be able to afford to go to work. They're not going to be able to afford to eat. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The, the prices that, in the grocery store. I'm already hoarding. Yeah, yeah we're the same way, Chad. We're just, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll say with that being said, Chad, I, I definitely believe that we have an effect and the earth tries to comp compensate it naturally. The earth has its own, like... What, what like cycles that yeah. it has? Yeah, like, there. Yes, it has its own cycles, and it's you affected I mean? by Millions. the sun instead of affected by us. But with the poles changing, and the, it is scientifically proven that the poles are shifting. That right. come and climate change is going to come come with that. So That's you true. mean I might be on beachfront property and not know it? Maybe you never know. Hell, I'm I'm right now. Know about that property. When uh, I was in elementary school, they said when we get older, Florida will be New York, and New York will be Florida. So by, and of course that that wasn't close. Well, think about this: you have all the glaciers, right? You have Antarctica melting on one side, and it's and I knew that when I was side. in second grade. I knew that was that was stupid. Yeah, I think the biggest effect has been cutting down all the damn trees, taking away our grasslands and all that, and putting you know concrete. Yeah, concrete asphalt. everywhere. Mm -hmm. I know. Right. I was, I was yeah, watching, asphalt uh, and everything over concrete. I don't know why they do that. I was watching the movie Wild Wild West yesterday with one of my roommates. He's never seen Black, it. One of my favorite movies. Hot. The, and the, the 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 one Will with Smith. Will Smith. Okay. Yeah. I was watching yeah. that movie and it was it was showing obviously like it was a DC. It was a it was a scene of the White House and there was just like green everywhere and fields and like I'm like man that's definitely not DC today like yeah. it's all concrete I was like that would be nice to see that kind of stuff again but it's just all a concrete jungle now yeah, yeah. I mean even in the 70s it was a concrete jungle there yeah which is sad but yeah. I mean there's even more shit there now than there was back in the 70s or at least yeah. used to be some spaces between some of the buildings there are people space. that think there is the earth is flat yeah, there. And then there's what some kind of what do they call them? Some kind of creatures that come from, come from underneath. Or yeah, the uh, one of the oh, the idiot that used to play wide receiver. He was one of them. But I mean, I I definitely believe in the inner Earth, Earth, but I don't know. No, about he, he thought he actually thought it was flat because he's dumb. Oh, that yeah. No, I I think inner. I, I think there is name. He, caverns where you can get into a. a an he inner for style Earth. Earth yeah. Yes, but I don't. Not yet, Barbara. He hadn't landed yet. Well, it's his way. fun fun fact. If, I don't know if you guys knew this, but a uh, a scientist slash teacher out of I think of University of Michigan. I'm not for sure which one exactly, but they did a um, oh gosh, I can't remember what the technology was, but they did some sort of like radar tech where they found at the bottom of the sea of the not sea bottom of the Lake Michigan floor. There's a structure that's very similar to Stonehenge. And it's about, the, I think, the middle ground of the Michigan Triangle where there's been a lot of weird electronical, just like things happen, shipwrecks, like people go, electronical, <laughs> whatever. I'm making up words here. Electronic things, yes, weird things happening. So it, it's very interesting that, you know, that used to be a glacier at one point. What if there was a stone hinge placed there and then the glacier just melted over it, you know? Right. Because that would have been lands that you can walk through back in the time. But yep. fun little fact there. Well, there's so much that's underneath the oceans, the deep waters, oh, that we have no clue. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm waiting for one of these Megadon sharks to come out of there. That'll yeah, eat a submarine. Yeah, oh, yeah. that'll Let eat a submarine. Too. Yeah. You know, it, it's possible. It's <laughs> very possible. Just a picture. Oh. Very, I, I agree. It's we, I mean, the uh, the existence of the giant squid, you know, we didn't know if it was real until eventually somebody found video footage of it. It's real. well, see, back in the day when they came out with jaws, 
they made that mechanical shark larger than the largest shark they'd ever caught right mm -hmm. yeah. after the movie came out two weeks after it came out a guy caught one that was three foot longer wow okay that just so, goes and then it just kept going and going and going you know that this is uh, uh, funny oh man this is breaking on this is about 50 minutes ago but uh, the Senate voted 57 to 40 to approve Rand Paul's resolution to overturn travel mask mandates as Biden threatens to veto. The only Republican was who voted f uh, against, against the resolution was Romney. No, but no, eight Democrats not, he, voted. He's not a Republican. Yeah. He's, no, he's not. He's, he's a, a he's a washboard. He's not a Republican. He's a piece of shit. Just like Cheney, she's not a Republican. He just yeah. he just couldn't win in Massachusetts with an R behind his name. Yep. He knew that he could win in Utah with an R behind his name. Right. And they would like, they don't have a, in their constitution to be able to recall his ass. Yeah, they want to recall him. Well, but you they just look, because now it's got to go to uh, Biden and he's going to yeah, veto he's, it. He's going to veto it. He's just it. nailing a big ass nail in his coffin. Is all oh, he's, he's done. Yes, Biden is so done. Yes. He's not done anything to help anyone in this country. And people Nobody. are realizing that. That's the Not one thing. thing. Not I, one I had, thing. There was, if, if somebody can find one thing, I'd love to yeah, hear. It. Right there was a, really there was a friend of mine who did who became not a friend of mine because obvious reasons. Uh, he <laughs> was so gung ho for Biden wow. that he would go back and forth on every single post I would make about either Trump or against Biden. This was during the election, and then is all of a sudden, all know? the crap. No, no, you don't know. Dementia riddle this guy. Is, yeah, this is a great now, president. All yeah, of a sudden, who in the hell thought yeah, that? Exactly, and all of a sudden now. He's just like, oh yeah, I, I I don't think Biden's a great pick, but I still hate Trump. And it's just like, dude, right? You're, you're an idiot, right? <laughs> you can hate Trump. Yeah. But yeah. Well, I like my freedom more than they hate Trump. I'll take mean tweets and dollar fifty seven gas prices less. right about now. Yeah, yeah I would too. You know, what? I would too. Yep. Those mean tweets mean nothing. Nah, they would not even right? mean it's tweets. Just it's just well, stuff they made up. Exactly. It's just words. I looked at some of the it's stuff words. I laughed. If These you don't want to read it, don't read it. You know, yeah. if it's no, on they TV, don't read turn it. the oh, yeah. channel. So, uh, don't get it. Tell me it's why. A, you can I, tell these idiots a joke and they just, they don't get it. Yeah. Tell me why they the leader no of Iran has order. a Twitter, but New Jersey's Obama, different. Obama, Trump doesn't have a Twitter. Just remember yeah. that, Luke. New Jersey's different. What? It's a, it's a communist state, basically. Yes. Um, I grew up there and we could never, ever pump our own gas there. They think everybody's stealing. Yep. So, and here you have to prepay. You can never pump your own nope, gas. Never. You still can't. Still can't. Um, wow. You have you have to prepay in. I used to all work the gas full stations. Serve. So die. So. <laughs> oh, and one more bad thing. Why are, we, hey, why are we Luke, sending money to? Luke the goes. Am I allowed to pump my own gas in Texas? Right? Because over in England, <laughs> yeah. he couldn't. Oh wow! Really. Oh, when you when Luke gets settled in and I get him back on here, he's got some oh stuff God, he's bringing be... to show us. I would, I would love to especially talk about going stuff to Texas. Oh, that's, you're gonna, yeah, that's another Charles, you'll love talking to Luke. Oh, yeah, I yeah. mean, he's a computer whiz, he builds tanks, nice. right? But he's bringing over, he showed me last night off air and stuff, the actual forms and everything. That it took to become a United States citizen. Where yeah. do, has he told you where he's moving into Texas yet? Huh? Is he's moving into Houston? Is that what he is? owns a house in Houston? Okay, good. And then so, he's got to take care of some business on the Austin. East Coast, come back to Houston. Then he's coming up here. We're looking for property up here for him to buy. He's going is to he sell his. Yes. Oh, okay. He's going to sell his house in Texas. Cool. Yeah. Look forward to meeting him. Oh, he'll get up here. I look for him to probably be up here in about a month. Sweet. And everything. I mean, it it's it was great to see him last night. Every time I seen him before, he was kind of down. And oh, last wow. night, he was I just a little why. kid going, I get to go to the United States of America. <laughs> you guys want another funny video? For, or not a funny... Okay, so... Have you heard about the latest trans controversy with uh, Kyrie Irving and the basketball stuff? Yeah, I heard about that. That's funny. Okay, so Trevor Noah's going off about that now. 
<laughs> yeah, he can't he's, play in the game, but he's yeah, sitting behind. he can sit in the stands. <laughs> what the? That makes no sense. Hey, that's that, the NBA. That, they make that. Sense. Well, no, it's it's the New it's York. The city. Um, yeah, that makes no sense. It, that's yeah, that, the that new Maryland guy is. I think he's horrible. Worse. He's yeah, he's absolutely horrible. He's horrible. One of the, like, we're but gonna, I, there was. Uh, we're gonna a, take his ass out. Oh yeah, there was a poll done that um, that the Republican uh, candidate is like four points behind him. It's a close run when usually yeah. it's like Democrats are twenty points ahead. So that's pretty interesting, if you ask me. That's it's a big shift coming, and I don't think. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to go to Disney World. That's a communist company. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. After the the yeah. BS they've been putting up with now. Well, Good. I've been a communist company. I've known that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just now, now other we're, people. Know. Yeah, we're just taking the, the we're Disney taking the world to find. Yes, Disneyland's way worse yeah, than California. World's well, Disneyland's in California, so. Well, it may not be worlds of fun for too much longer. The parent company was actually bought Chad, by SeaWorld. Luke by SeaWorld. Said he might yep. be. Oh, yeah. I heard that. He and might be looking to get a Facebook yeah, it account like it's over here. Closed every time I drove by. Yeah, it's it got. So I wonder what SeaWorld's going to do with it now. I'm curious if they're still going to keep it as an immune. I think it needs a good shakeup. That park has needed a big. Yeah, it hasn't years. changed in over twenty. Yeah, the the only no, change hasn't. is when they add a new ride or two. That is it. And, and the rides aren't any different than the no, rides we had before. Not. They just changed the name yeah. and uh, and right. change the color. So. Like, like I love Silver it's Dollar City. If, if you take him anywhere, take him to Silver Dollar City down in Branson. I there love that go. park. That's yeah. one of my yeah. favorite parks. I haven't been there in a long time. I yeah. have never been. I know really? where, oh, I know where oh, the entrance is. Little. It's gorgeous. It's a it's great, gorgeous. fun little park. Like, oh, I shouldn't say little. It's bigger than Worlds of Fun. But you want to know the yeah. last amusement park I went to? Yeah. Dog Patch USA. Okay. A no couple years ago. No. And it's been closed for twenty years. Yeah. Thirty years. Jeez. So. Did you ever go there, Carl? Yep. Did you? Little, little Nabner. Yeah. We were Jeez. supposed to go there a lot of times because we'd drive down to Arkansas and. We always change our mind because we were in a hurry to get to see all our relatives. Mm. Right. right. Even as kids, and then even were coming back, we were in a hurry to get back home. So right. So that was. We got about time. two and a half minutes left. So Denise, tell everybody where they can find your show at. <laughs> okay. Well. Good luck. Hopefully, um, no. Actually, it's coming back next Monday at 7 p.m. Central on WBHM-DB.com. Well, and if you're looking, breaks over and. Well, and Kat will be home. So, and you can find replays of the show on that same page. All you do is click on the Paranormal Pride, and there's replays there. And if you're looking for other replays, you can find me on Mixcloud. And there's a bunch of my old shows out there, and I'm getting ready to upload some more. And uh, I think you can also find the stuff on YouTube, but I don't know where. And uh, so if you find it, tell me where. I'd love to know. And my guest next Monday is Dave Spinks. Uh, from uh, he's been on all kinds of shows, but the one that you guys may know him best from here lately has been um, the Unexplained with William Shatner. Nice. So, and he owns this lovely haunted house in called Willow's Weep in Indiana, one of the most haunted houses in Indiana. So, it'll be good talking to him. And he's also an author of, I think, seven seven or eight books now. And he's also into Bigfoot as well as UFOs and yeah, everything. He's into everything. Yeah. So one of the few people that I've interviewed that I know personally. Right. That's awesome. Right. Great. Okay, anyway, Charles, yeah. tell everybody where they can find you and what time. Well, you can find me there on my profile. Hour. Yeah, you can find me on my profile <laughs> on Facebook, just Charles Fort. Or you can go to uh, Facebook, Boogeyman Radio as well. Uh, we're on there, and, and I actually have the links to our YouTube channel and our Patreon. Uh, I'll be going live on YouTube with Dave here starting at 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock. We'll be talking about mysterious places. It'll be a great show tonight. Then we go on to Patreon from 9 to 10, and you can find both those links if you'd like to go on there and check us out. It'll be a great time. I'm really excited. I'm really happy to be here. I really appreciate the invite, guys. Thank you. Hey, anytime, Charles. Anytime. Man. And I'm going to tell you, it's one of the few shows I watch on YouTube, or you and Dave. Ooh, classic cars. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. So, Thank you. Because I don't watch, I'm, I'm be honest, I don't watch YouTube. I think it's a big waste of yeah, time. Yeah, I haven't been there. So, good car show in a right. while. And I, usually yeah. we throw you on the TV so Ron can see you on the big There is another oh, yes. show Ooh. right after ours on Things Network. 
So, again, thank yeah, everybody in the chat room here. for joining us you tonight. Think you know, so watch it. Luke, keep in touch with me. Let me know how you're doing and everything. So, we will see you all next week. Have a good evening.